Greetings. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Um, too bright. My hair is wiling out. How's it going? My hair is wild today, but we're just going to we're just going to roll with it. Um hang on. I forgot to order lunch and so I I have a story. I have a story. We're going to and then there's an article that I want to look at and then um and then uh I want to try and do what we did yesterday except for this time record the video. I sound so sleepy. Thank you. Thank you for the kind kind words. Um <sighs> Actually, I decided I'm just going to like drink a shake for lunch. Um, it's like more convenient to do on stream. Um, okay. Okay, so, for starters, any plans for the stream? Yes. Someone in chat, uh, if you don't mind, repeat. Uh, I'm going to, or I guess, sorry. If you, yeah, we're, I have a plan. I have a plan. Um, you will experience it as it, as it happens. Uh, okay, so... First off, uh, had a rough day yesterday. It's been a bad week for me, if I'm being completely honest, but whatever, you know, we'll, we'll soldier on. Um, but yesterday, one, so before the stream, um, before the stream yesterday, I, let me turn these on. Let's see. Let's see if this, how this affects everything. Okay. And then I can do a little bit more of. Hmm. All right, cool. So, uh, so before the stream, okay, ADHD alert. I need to also let Instagram know. Um, So, uh, before the stream, I was like, oh, I want to get coffee and a snack. So I like ordered like a Uber eats from, from Starbucks and it's fine. This is a, this is a, my Karen origin story, by the way. Um, and so the, then I'm like taking dipper out and I'm like doing, um, or no, I didn't take dipper out and I was just like resting or something like that. And, um, the the food gets here and i open the door and it is just a bag like a starbucks bag uh with a puddle of of brown liquid aka my coffee around it and i was like okay so maybe maybe the just like the bottom fell out of the cup um, that can happen, sure. Uh, honest mistake, whatever. I'll just like you know get another get another coffee. It's fine. And and then I uh, I start to clean up 
the mess and I look down my steps because I live on the second floor. Um, I look down the steps and there was a trail of dr- spillage all the way down the steps. So then I'm like, okay, so somebody like this, this bag was leaking and then the person just like continued walking up the steps with the leaking bag and then dropped it and allowed it to just finish leaking and just completely. Cause when I picked up the cup, when I picked up the cup, uh, it was empty. And so I was like, okay, all the liquid is gone. Um, and then I was like, okay, let me, and then I followed, I followed the, um, trail of coffee down the driveway and, and they, so they got out of their car with a dripping bag and just didn't stop, didn't cancel the order, didn't call me. Like if I was trying to conceal the fact that the bag was dripping, um, then I would have just stopped prematurely of making it all the way up to my door and just took in a photo of it and like moved, like moved on with my life. Uh, it just led to the driveway. Like, um, like clearly where they like got out of the car, the coffee tipped over at some point and then it was just, it was just spilling all the live long way up to my door. And I was just like, wow, is this what it's like to like, want to speak to the manager? I wasn't upset with the, I kind of just wanted to understand because I didn't, I don't really think that like, if someone was like, it, it's weird to like do that on purpose. You know what I mean? I looked, you know, when you like order something online and they show you a picture of the, the thing that you ordered this, they took a picture of a bag that had spill like coffee spill all around it. And so I thought that was weird. Cause it's like a little bit of a self report. You know what I mean? Um, and I was like, so, so it's like not even trying to, I just like proudly spilled my coffee and then just like, was like, yep, delivered the, delivered the delivery. <laughs> like, um, that's, uh, it's exactly what I did. Uh, technically I've done my job. Um, and I'm like, you know what? Like, I, I, I don't want to like my, my actual theory is that like a, you know how sometimes people like will do deliveries with like their kids in the car or like friends in the car or something like that. I feel like it was like a child, like a child must've done it and then got stressed out and didn't know what was going on. Um, (laughs) and then, and then just like ran away from the scene. That's like, that's, that's my running theory. Cause I just can't imagine. And so I took a video of this, uh, and I posted on my Instagram story and I, I, I was like, am I, I like in it asked, am I a Karen? And then somebody was like, not on my side about it. And so I just deleted it. Cause I felt, uh, I felt bad. I, I, cause I, I, you know, it's like, I don't often share my like worldly, uh, quandaries with the internet. Um, and so that reminded me that I should, I shouldn't, even if it's, um, even if it's annoying. So that just like put me in a bad mood. Cause then I was like, cause, okay. Another thing is that like, I wanted to take Dipper out, but I got like a mocha at Starbucks. And so now I have to clean everything up because I don't want my dog to drink the chocolate. You know what I mean? Um, and so it just like was an inconvenience, uh, on my day. Um, uh, and so, so it's just like, I'm not mad at a person. I'm not, I'm not mad at a person, uh, or the, I'm, I'm not even mad at the situation. I'm just like inconvenienced by it. And the inconvenience is frustrating. Um, and I'm also curious because it is like, uh, how did this happen? Like what was, what were the circumstances that, that led to this? Um, and that's, uh, and that, that was pretty funny. One time, um, it reminds me of one time. So there's a thing that happens like when I deliver, when I get. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I get I totally understand the whoa it's Rachel. I totally understand the pretend not to notice angle. Like that's what I thought was happening. But I was like, if I were pretending not to notice, because I've been in that situation before. Like something happens and I'm like, uh, let me just like pretend I didn't just see that. Uh, I think I would just like put I would just put the bag down and earlier because the whole trail kind of. And then take the photo of it. I would have just snapped the photo immediately. Because what has happened to me before is uh, I get like uh, – I'll order something. Like I'll have a friend over. We'll like order takeout and then uh, – it, or order delivery. And they um, will deliver to a different place and just say they delivered it. And then I like have to go like searching around the neighborhood for um, for where the food is. And – Sometimes I just don't find it. Like sometimes I have no idea where it was left because there was like not a photo, and um, and that, and so I've had that experience way more often than I've had the uh, spill my coffee up the stairs experience. So I just I was like just do that, just like uh, drop the coffee off somewhere uh, where I can't find it. Um, but uh, uh, one but then one time. So on DoorDash, you can actually talk to the person after they drop off the thing. This coffee situation wasn't a DoorDash situation, but the last time that something was dropped off in an unknown location, because it is kind of hard to, like, I understand that it's kind of hard to see where my place is. Um, the, uh, it was <laughs> like, I was just like, hey, I would like to find the food. And, um, it is not, it, it is not like at my home. And then, um, they, uh, there wasn't a picture, but then I did find the food at like someone else's, uh, at someone else's apartment. And I wasn't sure what the protocol was like. You know, I probably should have just said nothing. I probably should have just said – because the person was like, I dropped it off at your house. I dropped it off at the number you said, and then they verified the number. Like let's say the number was 123, right? Uh, They were like, I dropped it off at 123 Jarvis Street. And uh, I was like, I'm at 123 Jarvis Street. It's not here. So like it's dropped off somewhere else, you know? Uh, I don't know where it's dropped off. But it's not one, two, three Jarvis Street. And then uh, I found it and um, and it was like the equivalent of uh, I found it at seven two three Jarvis Street. and like the seven maybe looks like a one. You know what I mean? Uh, and so I wasn't sure in that instance. If I should tell them, if I should tell them about it, like, I think that in my, (laughs) in my, um, if I were like sort of operating at my highest, like moral standard, I shouldn't have just, I should have just said nothing probably and just like taken the food and gone on. But I definitely like showed a picture and was like, it's at, this is actually 723 Jarvis. And I felt like an asshole. I felt like an asshole because, like, th- this person didn't need, they didn't need that. They 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 didn't need that. But I, I, there's this, I think that, like, when I'm feeling like I'm crazy, like, someone's like, you're crazy. You, you know, you didn't, this is a, you know, I dropped it off at 123 Jarvis Street. And I, I just feel like I'm like, I, you, you didn't, you, you, it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm still, you know, um, I'm still giving you a tip and everything, you know, but, um, uh, but the, just, just so that we both know it's, it, this is not actually one, two, three, drive street, but it's, it's fine. You know, it's like, I, I, this gig economy shit is stupid and, uh, I respect anybody like trying to make an honest living and, and I'm not, you know, I, I don't want to, to, I'm like, I don't blame the person. I don't harbor any bad feelings, but it is a situation where I, I, it's very much a reflection on like, I, as a person sometimes feel the need to be right. Um, so much so that like, I need to go, well, actually it's not at, at the, at the location.
you know. <laughs> so these are my Karen origin stories. These are my uh, – yeah, it was literally the wrong number. It's fine. But I'm just like the, – the, the delivery drivers have it hard enough. They don't need, you know, me being upset or, or anything like that. Like it's it's – it's not worth it for anybody, um, and I wasn't upset, but it was funny that I felt the need to to clarify, because I'm also like, what if you are on Jarvis Street again? I think it may be useful to know that you know the sevens look like ones on Jarvis Street. Um, I didn't get them in trouble with DoorDash, you know what I mean? Like, and so that was that that was uh. <laughs> but I, I I think it's 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 fine, but um, <laughs> but it was also like cathartic, uh, for me because it has happened so many times that now I'm starting to figure out where all the locations are that are mistakenly because sometimes people drop things off at like five 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 Jarvis Street and I'm like this is just not the same location at all it's not even close it none of the numbers look the same it's not like it, it's like kind of close in the general vicinity but why am i going on like an exposition uh an expedition um uh yeah what what the f are you talking about i've been waiting to catch one but i've been giving nothing huh um okay would you want a tiny Bob Ross painting? Kind of. That's cool. <laughs> um, hang on. Let me look at uh, see if Dipper's chilling. I think he's just playing with a um. Yeah, I have like a antler type thing that he is playing with which is good it's just against hardwood and so it's just like boom 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 um anyway that is my that's my story about um about delivery which i do too much of um uh, i'm doing a little drawing of you for art practice is that cool always cool always cool um hello 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 does a neighbor have an easier number? Yeah, I, I wish. <laughs> it's not even – so the thing is it's not even an apartment complex. That's the thing. Um, it's a house or it's technically not. It's like a house-shaped thing. And um, and the uh, – and so that, that also like makes it funnier to me. Um, Okie dokie. So – the 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 delivery the the DoorDash story is now over. I want to look at how's everybody doing. How's everybody doing today? Pretty good, rough week. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm having a rough week myself. Uh, I got vaccinated yesterday. Are you proud? Uh, yes. Good job. Bucket no. Um, just working, avoiding a big essay. Know what that's like. Um, doing swell. I'm alive and that's something. Hell yes. Taking an exam right now. Are you taking an exam right this moment? Because we can help. Give us a question. We can figure it out. Uh, <laughs> Kira Jarvis, no, no, let's do it. Let's all, let's all pass together. We should do, I used to like back when I would make tech videos, sometimes people would ask me for homework help in my DMs and sometimes I would give the homework help um, because I was like bored and, and, and uh, it's easy when you've like done it before. You know, it's like if it's like uh, if somebody was asking for, you know, if if a if a kid was asking you for like long division help, or maybe that's a bad example, but like addition help with their pluses and minuses, you know, and you'd be like, oh man, I got this. Um, 
It's your birthday and they canceled classes? Dang. Is your birthday like a holiday? That's I'm just going to pretend they canceled classes for your birthday. Um, so, so here's the deal. Today, um, now that we've uh, I've ranted and I've I've talked about my Corin Corin my Karen origin story my Corrigan story as it's called, oh my uh, uh, my orders here. Let's see if uh, it's a spill. Let's find out. I'll be right back. Um, what do I want to do? Be right back. I need to get one of those like I need uh I need like a Jarvis will be right back screen or something, you know? Spill or no spill, yeah. Don't <laughs> um it's 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 a little late, but we that would have been funny if I wasn't uh gonna have PTSD if it spilled again. My marker just leaked all over my drawing. No. Okay, so. Okay, here's what I want to look at. Did you know, chat? Did you know that uh, TikTok trends are all predetermined? And it's all uh, it's all been decided. The trends of next year have already been written down in a boardroom somewhere. Well, according to the uh, dis Distractify, um, TikTok's list of school challenges is available. Teachers should quit now. Teachers should quit now? What kind of... What is this? <laughs> um, Anastasia sent me this. And it is... It's very stupid. Um, and so I'm thinking we could look at it. You want to look at it for a bit? Take a look at the school challenges. I'm going to need... I know some of you are in school right now. Some of you are even taking exams. So I'll need you to pop up from your homework, pop up from your Zoom, pop up from your exam. And uh, let me know if this is uh, really happening at your school or is planned to be happening. Okay, let's have a look-see. Since the dawn of the pandemic, it's been impossible for most students to have a normal school year. True, that's true. Many had to learn virtually or in a hybrid environment. And now that, sorry, and even now that many schools are reopened, mass and social distancing guidelines are in effect. Even as school returns to some level of normalcy, many faculty are also dealing with a list of school challenges that are now dominating TikTok. Okay. The devious lick challenge was just the beginning. Uh, I realize I'm in the way, so let me move myself again. Did y'all know the devious lick challenge was just the beginning? I feel like you could say that about like... It, generally anything like if there's ever another tiktok challenge in schools then the devious like challenge was just the beginning all right students have been taking yeah devious licks uh-huh uh-huh soap dispensers bathroom appliances uh, students also stole office equipment and even made off with things as big as printers wow as big as printers that's the biggest thing for sure not like urinals <laughs> Not like whiteboards. Uh, as it turns out, the plan is for this challenge to be just the first of many. Devious Licks is set to be followed by Smack a Staff Member. Now, the weird thing is that I do I do think that some people were telling me that this was uh, this was a thing. 
Um, oh, I may have to turn off chat for... Oh, I don't even think that works this way. Here, let me turn off chat real quick. Remove it. Let's see where I can... I need to, like, give it a background here. Here, actually, let's try this. Properties. Um, RGBA. So let's just change these all to 255. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Uh, wait, this, is this going to work? This is not going to work. Yeah, that's, I see now, I see now. Um, let's try this, let's try this. Is this going to work? Oh, no, that's not going to work either. All right. I'm actually going to just ignore this for now. I'll just make the chat disappear just for a sec. Oh, wait. There we go. <clears throat> um, okay, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, this is... Now the chat's already seen... Because of my stream issues, I've uh, ruined the suspense of the article. My bad. Um, okay. Okay. So, okay, October, oh yeah, so the slap a teacher, let's just talk about that. Is the slap a teacher thing real? Don't talk about the months that you saw ahead. You weren't supposed to see those, okay? I was fixing something. I, d I do recall getting some DM about some teacher being slapped, which is fucked up. Like, that's not okay. That's assault. Um, okay, it, I'm glad to hear that n people are not familiar with... Uh, uh, it almost was, then it wasn't. Allegedly, my mom has heard about it amongst teacher friends. Okay, maybe it's just the scare tactics of distractify.com. Maybe, uh, I heard teachers talk about it. Yeah, maybe this is just propaganda. Maybe this is fake news. Um, okay, here's the full list. Here's the full list. September, vandalized school bathrooms. Okay, well, it's devious licks. It's a little bit different than just vandalization. Vandalizing, it's not the same. Okay. October, smack a staff member. Okay, that's the one we heard about. Um, November, kiss your friend's girlfriend at school. What? <laughs> uh, what? I don't... That's <laughs> That's fully sexual assault, first of all. Why is it a challenge? I don't think... I feel like someone made this up and then, then teachers are running with it. Like, have you seen what the kids are planning on doing? Like, this is the type of shit that, like, America, like, goes to war for. Where it's like, we found these secret documents where where these insurgents are detailing their uh, official plans to screw over America. And the it's all fake. Like, that's what this feels like. It's like, oh yeah, this, this, the kids are all banding together and they're going to smack a staff member and they're going to kiss your friend's girlfriend. Um, okay, December. Okay, it's time for December. Deck the halls and show your balls. Fully a troll, right? <laughs> it's so fake like why is this in a like i love how they're like okay this is an Im this is from getty images and it's just a tiktok office uh and then and then they're like oh yeah this is official this is a real this is gonna get distractify on the freaking uh on the map when we deck the halls and show your balls <laughs> just wait just wait we're going to look like prophets. Distractify is going to look like a prophet in December when uh, we're decking the halls and exposing ourselves at school. No one do this, obviously. I don't want there ever to be, you know, a world where somebody's saying I was encouraging this behavior. Don't. What? Also, can someone explain what decking the halls means? Because I don't know. I still don't know.
um, decorate. Oh, is it really just short for decorate? Decorate the halls and show your balls. Fa la 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 la. Show your balls. Um, decorate the halls. That's so much less interesting than I thought it would be. I thought decking the halls would be like, oh, it's this really cool thing that you do on the halls. Um, so is this supposed to, like, obviously this is just for the rhyme, but is the, yeah, you freaking punch the halls, you deck those halls, or you tech deck those halls, or you build a deck on, on the, in the hall, um, all of these things are, <laughs> Bionic Pig, thanks for the, uh, tier one. Um, okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm learning something here. Put your Pokemon deck in the halls. Wait, I can do that. Put it in the halls. Um, oh, just briefly. Can I show you how cool the, um, so it's the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. And so, like, they re-release, they have a set out where they're, like, re-releasing -re old cards. And there's, like, a little, uh, there's a little Pikachu 25th anniversary thing in the corner. That's great. That's great. In Japan, it, it they, uh, the cards look way cooler. I, I, like, I've got this Charizard reprint, the Japanese one from the 25th anniversary. And then it's just got, like, a 25. Uh, I just pulled this yesterday. They come out of they come out of little packs, um, that look like that look like this. Ooh, it's the twenty fifth anniversary of Pokemon. All right, sorry, just had to. Why is this card so big? No, this is a normal Pokemon card. These are just small. These are just tiny ones. But these are everybody remembers. Everybody remembers the Pokemon cards from um, from our childhood were this big. It's just perspective. Okay. So we're decking the halls with our balls. With our... Are we... Is it... Hmm. Okay. So is this supposed to say that you're like supposed to expose yourself while decorating the halls? Or you are exposing yourself... Or, or you are decorating the halls with your balls, which isn't as good, I don't think. Will I ever do pack opening streams, Kira? I've done it a little tiny bit. Maybe we'll open some cards later. Um... I don't know why I don't, to be honest. I just don't think... I just don't know if people want to see it. No, you decorate your balls. Got it. You go balls to the walls? To the windows to the walls? Okay. Someone said January Jewel. Is that what it's going to be? Let's find out. January 2022. It's the new year, and we're going to school, and... Oh, it's not... Whoops. Ignore that. Uh, and we're going to school and jabbing a breast... That's <laughs> what? What? <laughs> that's such a, that's such a weird verbiage too. It's like literally just more her like more sexual harassment. Yeah, what kid? Also, they it seems like they just suddenly like decided to alliterate like. September, October, November don't have any like fancy rhyming uh, or alliteration, and then December suddenly December deck, and then it rhymes, and then January jab. Like why? What is going on here? Um, this is a key clue that a weird adult wrote this. Agree, Anastasia. Hard agree. Okay. Um, all right, let's look at February. I don't know how far this goes. February, fuck. Yo, February, we just fuck, dude. It, um, oh, what if it's February, fuck up the school signs? I feel like they just, like, backed off of their whole thing. Like, mess up? This is, like, what? Something's wrong. Like, even, even in the, the universe of... Even in the universe of this, is kind of silly. And also, they really... Yeah, they definitely censored it. I feel like they really, like... Um, 
have de-escalated. Because we were committing, like, some serious crimes. Like, we started with vandalizing. Then we started doing assault. <laughs> like, literally, it's vandalism. And then assault, 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 assault. And then a less severe version of <laughs> vandalism. Uh, messing up the school signs. Like, what? Whatever, dude. That's like, how was that not vandalism before? Like, we're coming back to vandalism, but like diet version. March. Make a mess in the courtyard or cafeteria. Like, literally, it's getting less severe. It's going to be like, in May, have a picnic with your friends. <laughs> like, what the hell? Kira, this is so gross. Yeah, it's it's got it's a uh, it's somehow even more gross than when it was assault. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Don't do assault, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, it seriously went from like jabbing a boob to uh, making a mess in the courtyard. Uwu, you know, <laughs> it's just littering. All right, it keeps going, I suppose. Is it a full year? Do you think that high school kids have this level of organizational skills? I Yeah, I feel like if teachers made a big deal about it, this would totally become a trend. <laughs> okay, all right. April, grab some eggs. Another stealing challenge. <laughs> Um, I love that I, why is X spelled with a Z? Why is X spelled with a Z? And then why? <laughs> Sorry, this one really, it gets a lot deeper than you'd imagine, right? So <laughs> first of all, first of all, the language of it, it's in quotes. Grab some eggs with a Z. Parentheses, another stealing challenge. As if that needed any clarification. Uh, uh, also, what eggs? Are there some eggs at school that, that I don't know about? What is what is this sub even supposed to mean? Uh, what? <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe they're like... Stealing eggs like little Victorian children, yeah. That's so funny. Maybe they're they're using the <laughs> they're they're Oh no, Kira, no. May ditch day? Okay. What? Ditch now you're just like skipping school? That's like the least that's already a thing, first of all. And then, like, why? It's like, can you believe it? In May, there's going to be a, di a ditch day, but for a whole month. Yeah, senior skip day is already a thing. Plus, like, dude, I I don't know. I feel like I skip school a lot. Not, like, really. Like, I, I, I skip school in the way of, um, like, I had two helicopter of a situation to actually skip school and, like, not be at school. But I would pretend to be sick was my thing. I'd pretend to be sick, and I would just play video games at home. I just lie in bed and when nobody was looking at me, I would be playing my Game Boy Advance. So. But when they were paying attention to me, I was I was for sure. I was so sick, dude. Can't go to school. My tummy's got to ache. June Flip off in the front of. They're literally getting worse. Flip off in the front office? Like, what? <laughs> like, the person who wrote this is a hundred years old. <laughs> Flip off. Oh my god, can you believe it? The kids are flipping off in the front office. Can you imagine if, like, that's what people were concerned about after devious licks they were like and what's next people are gonna flip off in the front office that we can't have that certainly not <laughs> yeah it's the least offensive one so far 
I mean, Ditch Day is also pretty inoffensive. <laughs> Someone said, like, 300 kids doing backflips around the office. Yeah, what if it's a flip-off? Like, a, a flipping competition. Now that... Now that would make for some... For a TikTok school challenge, let me tell you. That would go viral. Yeah. Um, Death Metal Raccoon. I agree. It feels like a principal wrote this to justify banning TikTok. Um... It definitely feels like we found this and it was like printed on like a type type. It was like typed up on a typewriter. Um, it's like, oh, we found this from the headquarters of uh, of of ne'er do well children. The the evil kid kid brigade uh, has leaked their plans for the next year. The the TikTok mischief alliance. <laughs> What? July spray a neighbor's fence? That's not even school related. Um spray a neighbor's fence. Also, yeah, I guess cuz it's school's out for the summer, so you're uh so you're Yeah, I don't know. Oh man. I hate the government sometimes, dude. I like paid my I paid my California taxes and uh I got a like letter in the mail that was like you owe California tax money and I was like I know I don't and what it turns out is that they mistakenly applied it to the uh 2021 taxes instead of 2020 and um and uh and so now we have to like send them another letter to like fix it I don't know it's dumb taxes are silly why why it seems just just come on we could do better um, dude, I, I, I'm freaking this close to dropping tea in the Boston Harbor, man. I'm, ooh, it's, I'm so close. I'm so close. <laughs> Just little Lipton teas. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the Boston Harbor and I'm gonna drop, like, a Lipton tea bag in there. Jarvis, do a HelloFresh sponsor. I need some recipes. HelloFresh, hit me up. You know what's crazy? I tried to, um... I actively tried to get a meal kit sponsor when I moved uh, to LA, and nobody nobody hit me up. Nobody hit me up. No no Blue Apron. No Hello Fresh. Uh, none of them. And I'm like, come on, I want to cook something. Let me cook. And I can't cook unless they give give it to me in a box. That's how, that's the rule. Um. Yeah, I know. That's that's my real Karen origin story. Why won't these brands reach out to me? Um, okay, yes. And then, okay, that's the end. A backlash against the trend is already picking up steam. I hope no che teachers get hurt if ch said challenges do happen. How are teachers going to get hurt during ditch day? That's my question. Excuse me. This is so funny. Yeah, this is exactly the kind of thing where, like, it airs on, um, like, Good Morning America. And it's like kids at school are doing this random, you know, trend. And then they're like, talk to your kids about, oh, yeah, it's like those, um, those articles that explain, like, acronyms and emoji like when your child says lmao they're saying laughing my arse off or whatever or uh <laughs> or like lol means lots of love you know what i'm talking about um the, the like mistranslate like text speak speak yeah <laughs> grandpa died lots of love <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, when your child says WTF, they mean wanna frick? Wanna F? So everybody watch out or they'll be back flipping at the front office. Um, okay, what a weird... Schools are already taking steps to keep students from completing the challenges. One parent claimed... Okay. Received an email from her daughter's school. Harshly punished for slapping teachers. Okay, okay. It has four likes. It looks like someone went out of the way to search for slapping teachers. <laughs> Juicelyn, that's disgusting. I refuse to read that, but it's funny. Um, yeah, well, these are all these are all in response to devious licks, which that you know that did happen. <laughs> BRB mom is calling. Oh god. Um, okay, wait. There's a there's an article about the slap a teacher challenge. Oh. <laughs> FYP, more like fuck your parents. Dude, that's what it's about. That's what the FYP is about. That's why TikTok is a satanic app and your kids shouldn't use it. FYP is for you, Paige. Um, yeah, I know. I saw I saw that article too, breathing new life into a 90s country hit. Um you don't have to disable shit, by the way. Just press close. Well, I just paused it for for one for one refresh, so it's okay. Cause now we get an ad for Zales. Um, I don't even. Oh, you can't even see it. So don't even worry about that. Um, let me know. Uh, uh, let me know if the like at any point during the stream today, if the crop uh, prevents you from seeing something, because I can fix it, and I just may not notice. Um. As if teachers didn't have enough to deal with. So, I mean, true. I mean, like, I, like, teachers have it hard, man. Teachers have it so hard. But it's a little bit preaching to the choir um, in, this, in this particular instance. I don't think anyone sees the slap a teacher challenge and goes, but the kids are just having fun, you know? But is... In the latest TikTok trend, I, dude, whenever I see phrases like this, it sounds so like, it sounds like a PTA meeting addressing TikTok, or it sounds like those emails where they talk about devious licks, because the latest TikTok trend, there's like a thousand TikTok trends at once, you know? DTF is down to fish. <laughs> Students are asked to calmly walk up to their teacher, slap them, and then run off, making sure that the whole thing is captured on camera. If anything, this trend is even worse than the devious list. If anything, it's assault. And previously, it was property that was damn. Like, of course, of course, it's worse if it's a real trend. You mean you mean the property is is uh, not as valuable as the well-being of the human beings? Wow. Calmly. Yeah, that's... Uh, for any Smash fans uh, in the audience, of this makes me think of that, like, did he just calmly walk up and slap his teacher? Um, did he just walk up calmly and teacher slap? Um... Thankfully, the challenge hasn't actually begun just yet. What are you... You can't talk about a trend. It's not a trend if it hasn't started. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a time traveler. It's like Trunks is from the future. <laughs> It's so, like, um, I do hate how articles write about, like, teens as if they can't think freely for themselves um, and aren't, like, smart. 
It's like they're just going to – the teens, they're just going to slap teachers and they're not even going to question it. Isn't set to officially begin until October. I know. We saw the calendar. Apparently, the November challenge will be to kiss your friend's girlfriend. And in December, the challenge will be to flash the entire school in the hallway. The slap a teaser challenge is facing major backlash. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I hate, I hate this. I hate this. Obviously. Okay, the, the one... We need, like, we need a service to, like, archive TikToks and stuff and YouTube videos for when... Like, obviously, archive.org is not this because it doesn't archive the actual videos. But, um, like, this always happens. Like, tweets get deleted. TikToks get deleted. I wish there was, like, an archival service that could actually, like, keep this stuff for the... Um, like... If journalists had a way of I, – I doubt that this person is a journalist who's writing this. But, like, if journalists had a way of – like, there was some sort of – because what they should do is just re-upload the th – I, I mean, should they? I don't know. But anyway, I'm saying th this undercuts the whole article, right? Because we can't see the, the TikTok here. Source TikTok. Archive of our own. <laughs> AO3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need an archive of our own. And you know, while we're at it, let's write some fanfic about <laughs> the teacher slaps. Uh, we actually met in the hallway when we both locked eyes as we slapped our respective teachers in the face. Um, this is the dumbest article I've ever read in my life. The slap a teacher challenge is hugely disrespectful. Yeah, uh, Cuckoo Cat. That's essentially what I'm saying. Because uh, one, it's fair use. Two, it's it's important for the thing. And I feel like it. you should only do it to like sort of – you can source the original TikTok on TikTok while showing a like locally embedded version. But that's too technically complicated for someone who's just like – like, you know – Someone who's just moving the text, like the author is not writing this on the website. They're like writing the text. They're submitting it somewhere. And then someone is like putting it on the website. Um, Twitter's the archive. Yeah, but Twitter isn't indexed in a way that like makes it easy to find this stuff. Uh, also, tweets can be deleted and DMCA'd. Um, <laughs> yeah, cuckoo cat. I I know I know what you mean. It's it's one of the yeah. Uh, for the record, teachers don't deserve don't deserve respect simply because they are te This is such an this is such a weird article. I like it. Like I don't even think this was written by a teacher. It's talking about teachers like they're I don't know, dude. It's like, this is nothing. This is all just to fill, this is all just to fill, um, hey, hey Jarvis, the Wayback Machine can find old videos, d deleted videos. It's a site. Wayback Machine can't if the, uh, video itself isn't archived. Like, Wayback can archive videos, but, like, you can't, like, uh, it doesn't naturally, um, like, if you archive a YouTube, if you archive a YouTube page, it doesn't archive the video. The video has to be, has to be there. It still has to be there. Um, yeah, yeah, you can find old videos, but not, it really depends on how the website is archived. I could go into, like, technical detail, but I don't think it's, uh, but I, it's, do a simple test of, like, go to it, go to the YouTube homepage on, um, archive.org and click like click a video and you won't be able to watch it. Uh, and you, yeah, but basically that, um, often, even if the video still exists today, because the way they serve videos has changed over time. Um, the bark at your dog trend is taking over TikTok. Now that is funny. Have you seen the bark at your dog trend? That's a trend I can get behind. There's a really good one that was going viral. 
There's one that I hope I can just find. Oh, man. Let me just search Bark at Your Dog. Oh, this one, this one, this one. Okay. Roof! Dude, I love this so much. Dude, this dog was like, what the hell? Bark, Bark at, at your, your dog. dog. Roof! Also, that sound came out of this person. Like, that, it almost looked like it was dubbed over. Um, but it was, like, I'm impressed if that, like, was truly just that person's uh, thing. I, I kind of want to try it, but I haven't done it yet. I haven't, I haven't tried it. I feel like I got to work on, oh, the comment section for this was hilarious. Um, <clears throat> I got to work on my bark. I got to work on my bark privately. Um, oh, it's dubbed. She has an item. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, cause it didn't, it didn't sound, it didn't, it sounded like too real. I was going to say Elsie though. Elsie can do a real dog bark. Um, oh yeah, we should, we should tell Elsie to do this. Uh, where, where, where were we? We were just, wait, was that linking to the original TikTok? Ah, nine gag. Is this going to link to the original TikTok? I take back what I said about archiving. <laughs> um, because now it's just, this is just being ripped and I don't have the, uh, the source. We, we also, if we're, if we're archiving, we also need the source. Nine gag is still a thing. I learned that today. I learned that just now. Uh, okay. I don't even want to I want to go to this original TikTok. I want to send this to Elsie, but I don't want to send this random twi tweet. Oh god, I can't read. Hold on, I got to get closer. Adrian Chateau Wile. Um Whoops. Oh, interesting. That Oh, wow. Wait, did this person get... That's incredible. They got 400,000 followers from this one... Dude, I got to post TikToks. I got to post TikToks. What am I doing? What am I doing? We should talk about what my TikToks are. Let's, we, we'll, we'll do a brainstorm later for some TikTok ideas. Hey, Sarah. Bark at your... Okay, okay, okay. Um, Let me just... Um, okay. All right. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Um, uh, now let's watch some YouTube. <laughs> um, yo. I kind of stink right now. Thank you, Kira. Um, also, Starsville, thanks for the resub. And HGPS Noah, thank you for the resub. Jarvis is a Tom Zendaya ship for confirmed. Yeah, I guess so with these uh, recommendations. Ranking five girls. Um... Oh, this ought to be interesting. Maybe we'll watch this. This is old, though, so I'm sure it's been done before. Um, this is also new. I just don't... Like, I kind of want to watch this because the Deciding Who Gets $1,000 videos 
stress me out. Like Nick and I watched one and it was the worst video that we'd ever seen in our lives. And we deleted the VOD. We like hate it. We, it was so bad. Every part of it was so bad. Um, that we just deleted the whole thing. We just deleted the VOD. We pretend it never happened. Um, Jubilee always calls grown women girls. Dude, true. Yeah, the $1,000 videos actually just suck. Uh, oh, this was funny. The Disney fans versus one hater. Um, so I, I have... Uh, I've had I have big like inspiration block for the main channel. So if you have any, I, I'm going to be posting on. I'm going to be streaming and posting on gold. But uh, if you have any things that you want me to look into, uh, feel free to DM me or um, email me at Jarvis is not stealing your content at gmail.com if you have any ideas. Okay, so Kira, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, da, 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 oh yeah, L I don't want to watch this one. Or do I? I don't. I don't. I, I, I kind of want to watch something newer. Ranking by body count. I don't know how I feel about that. Um... Picking a new date for his ex girlfriend, that's weird. I mean, that that's like, would, that would make me uncomfortable to watch, is what I should say. Um, so we watched the blind dating six men based on their outfits, uh, dating six girls based on their outfits. Oh, they changed the number. Yo, who was here yesterday? I had a whole, I made a whole point. I made a whole point about how it was five and six. One, two, three. Yeah, like this doesn't even show. Well, I, that's weird. Oh, this is ASMR. Sorry, this is ASMR. It's five girls down here. Whoa, Poop. brain blast. Sorry about that. Five, six. And I didn't watch this video. I don't know why it says played. Maybe it was playing in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the video I watched. I don't want to watch this ASMR video. We didn't watch this ASMR video. Maybe it just played in the background yesterday at some point, which is why it says it was it was played. Um, sorry, I just like because this said it was played. I assumed it was the same video we watched, but no, it was these two. Yeah, I opened it in a different tab, and then everybody was like, "I don't want to watch ASMR," and I was like, "You know what? Let's not." <laughs> um. Who is not Gen Z? Secret Millennial. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, who is not a criminal? Oh, I don't want to watch that. Undercover cop. No. Um, someone also recommended Cut. I'll go to Cut as well. Who is not a dog owner? Is it, was that one? Wait, I'm actually curious about that. That might just be fun to watch. Oh, fascinating. I am curious about this. I, you know, I don't, like everybody wants to see dog content. I just like don't think it'll work that well on YouTube. So this is something that I'm like, not sure about uh, if I would put on on YouTube, but I do kind of want to watch this video. So if y'all are down to watch this video, this could be some stream content, it could be some stream exclusive content, or maybe it'll become a video. I'll I'll uh, present this like a um, like I'm gonna do a video though, um, and so I'll record it and stuff, and then we'll see. Are y'all down with that? I, yeah, make sure I hit record. Yeah, I'm thinking about that right now. Um, all right, I'm hitting record right now. Um, and then I'm also going to hit record here. All right, everybody, I started recording. And remind me to stop recording when we finish, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
All right. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a, do a little intro. So here's the deal. Um, this is going to be like, um, I'm going to, I'm like, I'm going to be filming a video, but I'm also going to be talking to the chat. The stuff that where I talk to the chat, I won't like include in the video, but it's going to be like a little magician's trick. Um, where you like don't know that it was recorded during stream, and then it'll be our our own our special our special secret. Okay, um, take two. Um, hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel. Oh my gosh, this I gotta turn this necklace around. The premium channel that is free. Um, it is it is free, but if you're watching this, you're premium. And the, the reason I said take two is because I yesterday recorded a video, um, yesterday as of this recording, recorded a video watching these two The Cup videos, these two Jubilee videos, um, or Cut, I don't remember, I can't tell the difference, they're the same, uh, about, you know, uh, like choosing somebody based on their outfit, guys versus girls or whatever. It was a fun time. I did it on stream at twitch.tv slash Jarvis Johnson. Join, have a good, it's free. I mean, unless you want to subscribe, but come on, hang hang out. I might be there right now, who knows? Not me. Um, and I recorded the whole thing. And uh, by recorded the whole thing, I mean, I did not record the whole thing. I forgot to hit record on my camera. I'm hitting, I hit it on my camera this time. And uh, so, um, uh, not to be discouraged, though I was, uh, I'm back to watch a different Jubilee video today. Six dog owners versus one fake. Odd one out. I think it'll be fun. I'm a new dog owner, so I'm curious to see if I can like spot spot the fakes. I'm sure I'll splice in some footage of me hanging out with Dipper. I don't want to get him right now. Um, uh, and who knows, I might still release that video that I forgot to hit record on because I do have the VOD of it. Um, so uh, uh, stay tuned on that. I haven't, I haven't quite decided yet. Anyway, let's jump into this video. You, you love, love Odd One Out? Did, Did you know, know that, that every purchase, purchase at the Jubilee Shop, Shop helps, helps fund, fund this show? show? All right, let me just make sure the uh, there's not overlap of my... No! Oh, I think I was just... I don't know what I was just moving, but... Cool, cool, cool. How's everybody in the chat doing? How is, how is the intro? There's an echo. There's an echo, and I know why. I know why! Okay. There shouldn't be an echo now when I go back. Um. Anyway, how is the... Uh... How was the how was the intro? Good intro, I think. Cool. That's all I need. That's all I need. If you're looking for ways to support Jubilee and watch more episodes of Odd One Out, make sure you check out our merch at shop.jubileemedia.com. Now enjoy this episode. She does this weird howling thing. Oh! Oh! oh, that person's the fake dog owner. That's for sure the fake dog owner, right? <laughs> Hashtag bark at your dog challenge. This is the this is howling at your dog challenge, which is just weird. There's no way. There's no way. This this person's a fake dog owner. I'm calling it right now. Is I'm gonna do it. Oh! I swear she doesn't. Do this this dog. Look, I understand a dog wanting to get away from its owner. It happens to the best of us, but I just don't buy it. I just don't buy it. We brought together seven dog owners. I'm a dog owner. I am a dog owner. I'm a dog owner. I am a dog owner. I'm a dog owner. Okay, let's try to guess the breeds. We got some good mixes in here. Um, we brought together seven dog owners. I'm... Okay, so this is a pug, right? This is a pug. A pog. This is a pog. Okay. A dog owner. I am a... Ooh, what is this? It's it looks like default dog. It it's it, uh, hopefully this is like a mix. Uh, it, it like it's got like golden retriever ears, it, I think. 
But what is it mixed with? I, I can't tell you. Dog owner. I'm a so that's a husky. Dog owner. I am This is a It kind of looks like a blue healer, like but some sort of cattle dog. Someone said Pitbull Husky Mix. If it's a Pitbull Husky Mix, then I didn't call it out. As the owner of a Pitbull Husky Mix, then I, I have to give my dog away, I think. I'm a dog owner. I'm a... Okay, so this is a Corgi. Dog owner. I'm a... This dog is interesting. It This dog looks like a Husky Mix. Maybe... Like, is a... This is a corgi, also. Okay. Dog owner. I'm. This is a pit bull, right? A dog. I can't really see its face. Dog owner. One right. is a liar. That's not even for the video. That's just for us. That's just for us. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives. Oh yeah, that dog's a corgi for fives, sure. they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? So my name is Roy and this is Jessica. I'm Diana, this is Bella. I'm Sherman, this is Ollie. Hi. Vanessa and this is Tink. I'm Oki and this is Sasha. I, I'm Abigail and this is Keikoa. I'm Keikoa, that's a cool name. Trish and this is Hiro. Have you guys always been dog owners? Yes. This is actually my first time. Did you not like dogs before? I did, I did, but I mean, you know, school and whatnot. I'm first time dog owner too. First yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm a first time dog owner in term yeah, like I had dogs growing up, but like it's very different to like raise a dog yourself than to just like have a dog as a kid, you know? First time dog owner? Okay. Yeah, my girlfriend and I we can't she can't have kids biologically, so so this is our baby and she gets all the spoilage. I grew up It's a little bit I mean, I don't wanna I'm not here to like judge a person's like situation, but it feels a little overshare, right? Right? I feel like maybe. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Bit of an overshare. Also, like, I don't want to, I don't want to like poke holes in that argument. And so this won't go in the video, but like, you could adopt a kid too, but, um, with dogs my whole life did you know that he was deaf before oh uh, let me uh do this thing where i hide the youtube bar because it's so annoying are you got him no it was kind of like a drug deal and then they found out later it was kind of like a drug deal later that he was deaf if you're gonna fake it you're not gonna bring a deaf dog or a dog with a handicap so i thought that was pretty I, I kind of, I agree with that. Got him? No, it was kind of like a drug deal, and then they... It was kind of like a drug deal? <laughs> what? Who are these dog owners, dude? What? How is everyone sus? Found out later that he was deaf? They found out later? You know? It, that's like, I... Who's they? Um, De Bobo B, thank you for the prime. They maybe being the vet, but like, man, that's got to be so tough. I mean, I mean, hand, like hand signals and stuff get you very far, but I would be so that would be so scary. Just like always having to like. I'm just, it's just like the anxiety of like your dog being away from you. And like, I, I guess you could use like, I guess you could use like a collar or something like that, that traditionally, like, you know, you probably, I like, I like don't, I'm not like an e-collar person, but I'm like, I guess maybe they have like things that you can like communicate uh, uh, non-verbally with a dog. If you're gonna fake it. It's not too scary, just different. Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, you're not gonna bring a deaf dog or a dog with a handicap, so I thought that was pretty legit. I had a pun before Hiro, but I feel like this is, well, my first dog as an adult, so it's yeah. definitely yeah. a different experience yeah. this time around. It's like yeah. yours. How about we name, like, uh, <laughs> our favorite dog in the world? 
name our favorite dog? That's okay, gonna okay, happen okay. Okay. Oh yeah, this seems like a nightmare. I didn't even consider that. Like, I feel like yeah, I could not take Dipper. Would just want to play with all the other dogs because he's just a baby. These dogs are doing a very good job of like not interacting until like this moment. Why did they bring the dogs? I assume they <laughs> let the dogs play. Kira. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I think the dogs have to be there so that you can see them work with their owners, right? So that that would help them judge, like, who the odd one out is, but... Oh, wait. Followers vote who is the mole. Oh, and so they're voting that this person is the mole. I don't even remember that this person said anything. She just seemed a little bit quiet. He was so attentive to the dog that I was like, maybe he has to be that attentive because it isn't his dog. It's, yeah, because it's probably going to be somebody's friend's dog, right? So it's going to be like, a, the dog's familiar with the person, but it's not theirs per se. Trish was a little suspicious because she just wasn't really interacting with her dog at all. We have a tie. Oh. The tie is between Trish, Abigail, and Vanessa. Three. Oh, wow. Each of you is going to get 20 seconds to state your... Okay, so the early, the beginning rounds of these odd one out things, I feel like you just don't have any information. You know what I mean? Uh, the drug deal... But I think the drug deal girl is the girl I don't trust out of these three. But then again... It would be, yeah, maybe she, like, works at a shelter. Maybe she works at a shelter and, like, the dog isn't hers, but she's work she works with the dog. Like, that could be, that could be something. I'm Because I feel like, I feel like um, they always try to, like, in the Disney fan one, it was like, oh, my friend's a Disney fan and I was just pretending to be them. Or in the, like, twins one, it's like, oh, we're not twins, we're brothers. And so, like, we basically just, like pretended to be born on the same day, you know? Case. Okay, my name is Vanessa, this is my dog Tank. I've had him for about five years. He does have an Instagram, Tank Samudio, if you guys wanna follow him. Uh, <laughs> I love him so much, he's my best friend. I don't know what I will do without him when he does go on, but um, obviously this is Keikoa. I decided to bring him out of all my dogs because he is the best trained. I okay. I decided to bring him out of all my dogs because he's the best trained. That I, I, my theory that she like works at a shelter or something or works with dogs is, uh, is, is, I feel like I'm getting more confidence in that theory. Um, because I mean, so a lot of people do own a lot of dogs. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. So unrelated, do you guys know uh, Laray, the creator, YouTuber, TikToker, extraordinaire, Laray? Um, I randomly was like, uh, I we're like doing an event together, and I was talking to him. He has six dogs. That's crazy. That 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 blew that blew my mind. I was like, how does that how does that work? How does that work? Um Yeah, I was like, that's wild. That's absolutely wild. Yeah, so I'm guessing this girl's a trainer of some kind. A lot of trainers though, you know, like one of my favorite dog trainers, Kiko Pup. I think she has six dogs, but she's like a extremely decorated like dog trick trainer and stuff, so can show you some hand signals if that helps, Nicole. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> um, I just have a lot of dogs, and I promise I am a dog owner, a hundred percent. So, okay, here's the thing. I promise I am a dog owner, a hundred percent. That's maybe the most suspicious way to say that you're a dog owner. But then my other theory is like maybe she is a dog owner, and this just isn't her dog. You know. 
All right, I'm Trish. This is Hiro, spelled H-I-R-O. I actually have his name engraved on this necklace. A lot of people like have never seen Corys before, I guess, and they'll like be super excited and they'll be like, "Oh, this totally brightened my day." So I think it's. A lot of people haven't seen Corgi, maybe like in person. It's really awesome to have a pup that also makes other people happy as well as myself, so. I feel like, you know, a lot of these things that they're saying are so general. Like, I could say the same thing about Dipper. Like, people always stop us and, you know, like they want to meet him and stuff. But I do believe that she's an owner. Ooh. Good luck. Okay. I feel like Trish wasn't that sus. Guys, come on, Ida. I think I like felt a little stiff and maybe that made everyone think I wasn't interacting enough with my dog. This will be the dog tricks round. Sit. Right. Paw. Lay down. Good job. Paw. Paw. Come on. Give me okay, so now they're doing tricks. I just want to like break this up. So now they're going to basically like see and now this gives me anxiety because like i've been working a lot with my dog and it's very scary to like be doing tricks in front of at this stage because i've only had him for a couple months it's i know all the stuff that he can do but then it's like performance anxiety mode when it's time to like do tricks in front of other people Maybe the other one <laughs> other one good Good job. Pop. Come on. Give me the other one. Other one. Interesting. I feel like a lot of people use shake for this trick rather than paw, but makes sense. I mean, paw makes more sense, actually. And uh, I also have this experience where Dipper learned it with the wrong, not the wrong paw, but the opposite paw that you would normally do a shake with. So um, <laughs> your dog is literally neurodivergent and a minor. Yeah. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Pull over. Pull over. Good oh. boy. She does this. That's way. adorable. Um, I like. I'm. I'm like hoping for the day where Dipper can do some of these treat treat uh, tricks without like luring. Cause I I like just started teaching him roll over, and so we can only do it like luring. But one day, one day we'll get there. Howling thing. Oh! Oh! Yeah, this is so weird, dude. Especially in context. In context, this seems so weird. Ooh. I'm gonna do it. Ooh. I swear she doesn't. Do <laughs> oh, this poor Ooh. pug. Hey, spin. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Down. Roll. 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 Yeah. Oh, that's adorable, dude. That was such a cute roll. We gotta go back. Hey, spin. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Down. Roll. 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 Yeah. Oh, that. Ah, just such a beautiful uh, roll. Good job, buddy. Down. Sit. Touch. High five. Good job. I actually thought Sherman was suspicious because his dog was like a little too good and he just seemed very professional with the way he was handling it. I thought maybe, maybe he was a trainer. So I That's really funny. <laughs> I thought he was too good. The dog was too well behaved. Sit. I mean, I get that guy's got interesting opinions. Down. Yeah. I mean, Dipper would be, this is like me in dog class and stuff. Dipper's too focused on the other dogs. Uh, it's Anastasia knows. Anastasia goes with me to the puppy classes uh, so that we can handle Dipper with a one-two punch. Yeah. Aww. Good girl, good girl. She wants praise. <laughs> Belly. Good girl. He seems suspicious. <laughs> okay. Um, he was more lax with his dog. I thought maybe he's not a real dog owner. We have a tie <laughs> between Sherman and Oki. I knew yeah, Oki, he was on our radar from when he overshared. You know, it could even be that, like, it's his uh, girlfriend's dog and not his dog, you know? All these tricks, we have this chemistry, like me and Ollie, and I thought that would be like, oh, okay, he's good, like, he's not the fake. Each one will get 20 seconds to state your case. All right, well, I am a real dog owner. Uh... Sure, I don't think Sherman overshared. Wasn't Oki the guy with... Yeah, Oki was the oversharer, right? 
Um, he, he knew all those tricks when he was a kid because, you know, you can't take them out after all their shots. So I taught him all the tricks just to mentally stimulate them. See my that is very valid. Favorite memory of him, because I know you said earlier. Um, so, so what he's describing is the thing is all of these things are like, I wish they had a person who like literally didn't know anything about dogs. Like that would be way funnier to watch. Uh, because I feel like all these people have had a dog in some capacity, so they probably know this stuff. But um, the whole, like, when Dipper didn't have his uh, vaccinations, his full vaccinations, it was so stressful because I wanted him to be excited. I wanted him to get out and do things. and uh, uh, But he couldn't because we couldn't really go anywhere. It was probably just him learning how to go up and down the stairs was, like, the cutest thing when he was a little puppy. Sasha is my baby. I do own her. Saved her from Vietnam for Taiwan, and that's what uh, made it so hard for her to do tricks. She just doesn't. <laughs> Dude, this guy, <laughs> this guy, I don't care if he owns this dog. <laughs> this dude is such a weirdo. I saved her from Vietnam and then Taiwan, and that's why she doesn't know tricks. Because no. she's Vietnamese. Puppy. Wait. Sasha is my baby. I do own her. Saved her. I do own her. Another sus line. From Vietnam for I Taiwan, and that's what uh, made it so hard for her to do tricks. She just like I saved her from Vietnam. Wait, no, Taiwan. Very different places, by the way. Um, <laughs> she only knows. She only knows Taiwanese tricks. Oh my god, dude, <laughs> that's so funny. It means she's a street rescue? Yeah, that's what I thought, but then, like, when did he get the dog? Like, doesn't really take very well to training. We actually sent her away to boot camp uh, to train her because she was aggressive towards other dogs. This right here is just a miracle that she's even able to do this. If, okay, that would be irresponsible. I feel like that would be very irresponsible if his dog was aggressive towards other dogs and he wasn't sure how the dog was going to react in that situation. No way in hell you do that. No way in hell. That just seems that just seems like you're putting other dogs in danger. You're You know what I mean? Yeah, either fake or dumb. Yeah, that's what I I cuz it just seems like it's even a miracle that I can film this Jubilee video. Don't film the Jubilee video. If you don't think like um there's like a a, like a trainer gave me a uh, like I think I learned this like train there was someone who gave me training advice that was like don't uh, ask your dog to do a trick if you think they'll fail um, and like if you weren't a bun a hundred percent sure of like the environment your dog being comfortable in the environment I would not oh my god dude so yeah either dumb or fake for sure this guy he even if he's a real dog owner, weirdest dude, weirdest dude. Get him out of there just to, just for the vibes, just to make the vibes better. Um, taking a street rescue dog into that situation with a bunch of other dogs on leash is asking for stress-based reactivity. That's what I'm saying. Cause I've also, I don't, I'm not an expert here, but what I've learned is that, you know, being on leash too can create, like create issues like, uh, especially if, like, the dogs start interacting and stuff, then they can be, like, more reactive on leash than off. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, Come on, Sash. I was disappointed because I'm a pretty competitive person, and I really thought I was going to win. Oh, don't, that's, come on, don't put this on Sasha. Don't put this on Sasha. Please raise your hand if you still have doubt and want to continue playing the game in three, two, one. I wasn't looking for a dog. I was on Facebook Marketplace and then I saw her on there. For Dude, that's funny. Dude, these stories, I feel like they must, I wonder if they screen people who seem suspicious because all these stories just sound so sus. Like a hundred bucks. I went all the way to Riverside and then she just started like hitting me and then like, dippers from Riverside. Her on there for like a hundred bucks. I went all the way to Riverside 
and then she just started like hitting me and then like running. So I was like, I was like, oh, is this, is this happiness? Dude, Huskies, there was up. <laughs> what do you guys feed them? Yo, and it's a brown Husky. I gotta hit up this guy. We gotta do a DNA test, figure out if there's some relation. It's like in the past pastel blue bag. Cause like Dipper was, uh, was found. Like he was just like abandoned in front of a building. And uh, I feel like there must have been a breeder somewhere because when I did his DNA test, he's like 50-50 Husky Pitbull. So I think there's a breeder somewhere. Um, I think, I think it's so. Blue Buffalo. Yeah, Blue Buffalo. I used to feed them that, but now they get a Purina chicken blend mix and it gets with like another fancy brand. She didn't know what kind of brand of food very well at first, so I was kind of a little suspicious about that. Every morning I cook him boiled chicken because oh, um, he did get sick at some point. People think he's spoiled, but. Um, what's your guys' like favorite dog movie? Like mine as a kid was Airbud. I I haven't really seen any dog movies. That's not really a good. I actually don't really like dog movies. I like uh, Marley and Me, but I can tell you which one I don't like. I don't like Hachi because it like breaks my heart. What do you think is the most special thing about your dog? She's just really friendly with anyone. For me, it's mainly been the support that she's been, like the emotional support. I think mine is, uh, he's a cuddler before bed. So he just, I mean, I don't crate train him. I used to, but not anymore. Well, for me, my dog is very mellow. Um, that guy's definitely a, a dog trainer, or excuse me, a dog owner. He's like, ever since he was a puppy, he was never hyperactive. My favorite thing is how accepting he is of every single dog and human he needs. He's oh. such a good boy. He just seemed really, really nervous. Dude, I'm like, I'm like, dude, my dog is always hyperactive. Dude, he's always like trying to get airborne and shit. I don't even, <laughs> he's got so much energy. I took him to the, um, here. I took him to the park yesterday. Let me, um, uh, sorry, brain fart. Oh, I opened up my photos thing and it was a screenshot of like Uber Eats and I was like confused. Like, I, and I thought I was in Uber Eats, but I wasn't. She just gave me the vibe that she was a trainer. Oh, goodbye, guys. Oh, I think that guy's a dog oh, owner. Oh, bye, Ollie. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, let's see how these videos are showing up on the... All right, so... So for starters, here's one. Dipper. Look at him go. Look at him. Um, I don't even know what this video is. Oh, it's 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 the wrong. It's it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be sideways. I think I was trying to get away from him so that I could do it because he did. He like did a really long recall yesterday, and I was very proud of him. Um, and I wanted to get another one on camera, but I, I, I never did. I was like on the other side of the park and then he like came back so fast and like slowed down and like touched my hand for like the cum. And then he, I gave him, you know, his treat and I was like very proud. And then he just started like getting zoomies and just started like running around in circles in the grass and then just started like biting huge chunks out of the grass. Um, so that was, you know, it was short lived highlight, but you know, we you live and you learn. <laughs> okay, 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 let's go. Please raise your hand if you still have doubt that oh God, you caught the mole and want to continue okay. playing the game. Continue playing? Yes. These people I want to continue playing. Um, so vaccination records, like what vaccines do you currently have on your, all your dogs? Like with This is silly. Mine, I have parvo distemper, which is DHPP, and then I have rabies. We have the parvo and the rabies. He has a rabies and uh, I don't know the exact name. Cause Dude, if you, I feel like if you go to this thing and you don't have up-to-date vaccines, you know what I mean? Apparently dogs eat grass if they're nauseous. Uh, Dipper has always eaten grass, so maybe he's always nauseous. Um, he doesn't, usually he doesn't eat the grass. He bites it and then just lets it go. He like, goes, ar, 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 like kind of like ripping it out. And then, and then it's kind of done. 
Um, I've never worked with dogs before. I honestly don't know them off the top of my memory. That's not because I'm not a dog owner. I also feel like maybe, you know, playing the other side of the card, knowing the exact vaccines, but you, you know dogs, so that could be why, but also it could be suspicion. Someone who was extremely knowledgeable about dogs, like who it seems like they'd studied about it, that maybe they were the mole. Do you train dogs? I actually, I don't. Yeah, I don't, I'm not encouraging eating grass, by the way. It's just like puppy behavior. <laughs> like, you know, it, it, it happens. Trained, I mean, I train my dogs, but I don't I was gonna train ask dogs. Too. I just, I'm so. I tell him to get away from it and I reinforce when he comes away. It's, it's fine, everybody. So comfortable dogs. So since someone was deaf, do you have to like, do like special classes in order to learn how to communicate? No. You might want to take him to the vet. Sometimes they do that when they're sick. I mean, he's been to the vet. I think, I think, I think he's fine. I'm. Actually, my boyfriend did the majority of the training for him specifically. And then after that, when he, he taught me everything so he can respond, like if you tap him to look at you, except he doesn't want, he's mad right now. So is he legally like under your name or your boyfriend? Boyfriend's, yeah. Okay, maybe it's, she's not a dog owner at all and she's just bringing her boyfriend's dog. And then I had a question for you. You said you didn't work with dogs, but earlier you said you were like a vet. Something vet like assistant. So, oh, assistant. well, I'm a manager at a veterinarian clinic, but oh, nice. I used to be a vet assistant, but for cats only. I do take my dog to her because she sees dogs at another clinic, but uh, yeah. They're still a little I felt people. like she was trying very hard to be a dog owner. So that kind of made me think like, I think she might be a mole. I should clarify, he's not really eating the grass usually. He like literally just eat, eat, bites it and then lets it go. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Fly. I'm not the mole, but yeah. Please raise your hand if you still have doubt that you caught the mole and want to continue playing the game in three, two, one. The only reason I wanted to continue because you said he was your boyfriend, but how does... But still like dog owner, he's still... Yeah, I know I realize that could be kids biggest, but I am, because I am a dog owner, it's still, I just chose to bring him specifically. Uh -huh. So if I had brought like another one of my dogs, it still would have been the same kind of term okay. where it's still like dog yeah. owner. Have yeah. any of you guys had any experience where uh, like, you know, it was an emergency that you had to take your pet to the hospital? I had a bigger uh, pit bull before he died away, he passed away and have my smaller chihuahua and they were outside. And was she the one who was doing the howl thing? I can't believe she's still here. <laughs> and he like bit him, so I had to take him to the vet like later. Lee and yeah. maybe she's a trainer, you know, maybe like this is professional, like she does this. Shh, shh, shh. Dude, if, she, if, she, if she's the fake, the fake one, then she finessed the hell out of this. Girl, I'm just here. I'm just you. You better be a dog. You promise. <laughs> We were so close, we thought we were gonna win it. I was sad, but I was fine. You know, I was really proud of how far we made it. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the light turns red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Okay, okay. I, I really hope it's, um, it's Oki, was that his name? Oh my God. <laughs> I thought I you were lying. I was like, I don't lie. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Will the fake dog owner please step forward and reveal yourself in three, two, one. Yes! Dude, that guy was so sus from the beginning. Oh my god, dude. He was wow. Everything is actually true. She really is from Taiwan. We really did uh, center weight training, but it's my brother's dog. And I dog sit for him all the time, so I spent a ton of time with her. And she is really sweet. I do want a dog of my own, but right now- Yeah, so he is a weirdo. Now I live in a very tiny one bedroom apartment. I can't really get the kind of dog I want and give it the life that it deserves. I don't think it's for That's everyone. Good. It's a lot of work and I think a lot of people think it's a walk in the park. They give you a different kind of love. It's it is literally a walk in the park, but it's also a lot of other things too. Conditional love that not everyone can give you. If I have a hard day knowing I'm going home to some dog that really loves you so much. I think that's like the best thing in the world. Dogs are just the best thing in the world. <laughs> Can I make it right on your dog? Yeah. Go ahead. You too. Look, I told you more. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, so still concerning he brought a dog with a history of dog aggression to a group of dogs. Agree. What? Yeah, that's very sus. Very sus. Um, okay, we're just going to stop record. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, well, this definitely didn't become a video, I don't think. But uh, I did record it, and so now I'm recording an outro just to do the, you know, the exercise. It's it's what I've got to do. So thank you for joining me on this video recording journey. This has been Jarvis Johnson Gold signing out. Stay gold, everybody, if this ever became a video, which it won't, which it won't. Okay, we're, okay. Um, I'm not ending stream. I'm not ending stream. I feel like I need to say that whenever I, it's just the end of the video. It's just the end of the video. I'm going to stop recording the video. And then we're going to do another, we're going to, we're going to, uh, okay. We're going to watch another one now. What was the other one that we were going to watch? Um, was it on cut? I can't remember which, this is Jubilee. Okay. Oh, fake Gen Z. Right. Fake Gen Z is just going to make me feel old, I think. Dude, I'm so curious about do all nudists... Oh, yeah, you can't see this one. Do all, uh, do all nudists agree or disagree? Yeah, I guess who has a black partner triggering, man. Triggering. Um, <laughs> Sarah, you know, the level of toxicity in that video is pretty low, but I'm ready to be heard again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm the prettier twin. Agree or disagree? Oh, that's weird, man. My, oh, T Tourette's. I was, I was a little confused at first. Okay. Oh, right. Like there was one that was like ranking something. Oh, let's look at what my YouTube like recommendations want to recommend on this new channel why kendall jenner being a pick me what well, what is well, oh yeah six criminals undercover cop six high schoolers one secret middle schooler six harry potter fans one fake that's another one i would probably watch on stream but probably wouldn't make a video about Do all fifth graders think the same? I that seems wholesome. Guess my income. That seems uncomfortable. Six Christmas lovers versus one secret Scrooge. I don't really care. Wait. Wait, six fifth graders versus two secret college students? I don't understand. Uh, maybe I'll explain. Maybe I'll explain. Hey, y'all. Jason from Jubilee here, and we have a big announcement. We're partnering with Good to Vote and we're trying to get 100 new voter registrations. If you help us to hit this goal, we're gonna do one new episode of Odd Man Out with any topic that you guys help us choose. Uh, we think that the election is super important and it's really important for all of us to just be involved with the political process. We hope to see you out there voting and we're excited to make a new episode for you for Odd Man Out. For now, enjoy the episode. How can you tell if someone is a fifth grader? Through their knowledge of video games, TV shows, or social media influencers? Maybe it's by how much they know about slime. Is it through the subjects they might be learning in school? Or is it just by how they look? Uh -huh. We brought together six fifth graders. I am a fifth grader. I'm a fifth grader. <laughs> I'm a fifth grader. <laughs> I love that kid already. I'm a fifth grader. I'm a fifth grader. I am a fifth grader. Dude, you know that uh, the meme of the kid doing the... That's the energy I get from the kid in the like Racer X chair. I'm a fifth grader. I'm a fifth grader. Gordon gives you that energy, man. I'm telling you. I am a fifth grader. And tried something different on this episode. We brought two moles. We're college kids. With no cameras, can the fifth graders find the odd man out? 
Wait, are they showing their face though? Do the college kids With wait? No cameras. Can the fifth grade no cameras, got find it. the odd man out? Okay, so it is no cameras. I feel like the college student is going to have a bigger vocabulary. I'm also gonna ask if you guys have TikTok, because I think a lot of people have TikTok at our age. I do think a college student would have TikTok. Isn't it concerning that like children, baby children have TikTok? Not because of like boomer reasons, but just because there's so much garbage on that platform and I don't trust TikTok to like moderate it. Oh, I don't know. We're both tutors, so, so we kind of have that, that little inside. They look so young. Scoop. I don't have any suspicions of anyone yet, but that's sure to change. <laughs> Dude, I love Gordon. I'm gonna go, hi. Hey ya. Hey ya, Gordon. Is that what a child would say? What is your favorite? Um, people just ask like ten questions. Um, 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 um. I'm not. The also, Micah reminds me of myself. <laughs> Where am I? Who is the college student? Okay, if it's a college kid, I feel like they wouldn't be in school, cause college is college. I see that Amy misspelled. Yo, Alice, I just cracked the code. <laughs> She's like, hold on, technicality. These. I don't think these college kids are fifth graders. Think so she can't be the college student, unless if she's trying too hard. Mm, I've never seen a, a fifth grader uses multiple exclamation marks. I think I suspect Gordon. His typing is is all uppercase letters, and that's oh, a yeah. student typing. They're like Gordon's a little proper kid in his little gaming chair. I'm just going with people who didn't sound like college names. Hmm, Michaela's. Do you say he's say the names? The names sound like college names. Going with people who didn't sound like college names. Hmm. Michaela's is talking about biology. However, we haven't studied biology yet, so I'm not sure about that. Oh, he's interrogating people. Gordon seems. Did Gordon? Gor Michaela, I have a question. Uh, you should probably have a period there. Uh, <laughs> I personally haven't started biology in fifth grade. How come you have? <laughs> He's trying so hard to be proper. Suspicious. Hmm. Who said they learned biology? They're going to get her okay, I think Michaela. Oh, right. Amy. Okay, I... Do you guys know Prodigy? What is that? Amy and Zoe is not the rule, okay? I'm trust. Oh, Michaela's getting fooled. Okay, I think we're good. I think... They will be <laughs> the no. band probably. Oh, I feel so. Is it like a Power school hungry. technology or something? Right, time, time. Or is it a game? Is it like an educational game or something? So I'm going to vote for Gordon. He used writing that I would use in like school. I'm probably gonna f vote for Michaela. Alexandra, okay? Dude, Gordon, he's such a tryhard. I love him so much. Oh, for a little guy. Poor little Gordon is like, I just want to be prim and proper, and that's how I want to, you know, I, I want to, he like wants to be an adult. College student, hey, I don't trust you. College student. Gordon uses a lot of strong vocabulary for the... Dude, boy. this kid is me, this kid is me. <laughs> Gordon uses a lot of strong vocabulary for his age. He says his ages. i Michaela because... You know, she's the more suspicious one. Michaela, because biology. And everyone else was like, biology, Gordon. Because he said, yeah, I haven't done that yet in fifth grade. And I was like, why would you say in fifth grade? Are you trying to make me think you're in fifth grade? So much attitude. The votes are in and we have a tie. Oh, so the two me. people with the most votes right now are Gordon no. and Michaela. <laughs> I'm doing Gordon again. Michaela. Well, let's just, yeah, Michaela. Michaela. I'm doing Gordon again. Gordon. And the person eliminated this round is Gordon. Can't say I didn't expect that. I probably. Oh, oh for have Gordon. I've used as much grammar. Dude, Gordon is like simultaneously 32 and uh, 8 <laughs> or whatever the hell. Like. Eliminated this round is dude can i just okay uh go with me on this does gordon gordon gives me toby from the office vibes gordon can't say i didn't expect that i probably shouldn't have used as much grammar <laughs> i'm 
Okay. I can't say I didn't expect that. <laughs> I'll tell you your favorite YouTuber, if you watch YouTube, of course, because I know not everyone watches YouTuber. YouTube's YouTube. Let's see what they ask us yeah, first. Yeah, and then we'll answer. And then, and then, then we'll, we'll, we'll ask. Yeah. And we'll answer. I'm nervous. I like thick noodles. What's thick noodles? Stranger Kings. Ninja. What is it? Show. I JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven. <laughs> oh my god, Micah. Dude, Micah is uh it, dude, this is this is me. This is me. My child. Hour, a day for screens. An hour only for screens? Roblox. I don't play Roblox. But I feel like if I save Dude, I'm so torn on like how I'm gonna treat screens with my child because on one hand you want them to be well adjusted to internet culture on the other hand shit's dangerous man <laughs> that they'll think that i'm the college student i've been really tied up on this chat i love roblox i love tiktok my favorite show is stranger things dude michaela so i love <laughs> roblox Oh, Steven Universe is an old people show. Dude, can that... Do y'all feel old now? Because I feel old. Steven Universe being an old people show. But somebody said Avatar, which is an even older show. Why? Why am I so stumped? Tucker, who's my favorite TikToker? I don't have TikTok. Four hours. Oh, poor Zoe. My parents only let me give an hour for screens. This is so... Uh. More on weekend. I can stay on for as long as I like, only when my mom says to get off. I don't know, I'm going crazy, you guys. End it. Dude, that kind of conversation like takes me back to when I would say shit like that on AOL Instant Messenger. Um, when I'd be like, oh, okay, you know, like my friends would be like, oh, my mom's telling me to get off because we have to do something. This chat, I'm going crazy. Do you guys know Preston Plays? You're grounded. You're grounded. You're grounded. You're grounded. I don't know anything that they're talking about. Yes. <laughs> Zoe. See, this is this is dangerous, right? Like, no offense to Zoe's parents, but I like I want my kid to know a little bit of what's going on, you know, on the internet. And even when I meet adults now who like weren't allowed to watch TV, it is uh, it's hard to connect because you like have like a lot of like I I just don't seem to have the same interests as people who like didn't watch TV and like media growing up. Because I, I was, like, raised on TV. Preston, aren't you Preston? Oh, Preston's, like, a game? <laughs> it's so funny. What's going on here? This is going too fast. Ah! Everyone was talking about the basics. Roblox, Minecraft. We didn't really answer. Oh, the basics, yeah. Like top questions. Because we thought at their age, they're not allowed to have TikTok because you have to be 13 and older. I don't know. Damn, she's, they brought out the TOS. <laughs> the narcs. The, Amy is a narc. I just kept saying like, yeah, it's so funny. Ha 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 ha. I'm surprised I made it this far. I Dude, that, Micah is me. I choose Amy. Zoe. She didn't talk very much. Michaela. I'm suspicious of you. Suspicious. Suspicious. Dude, this is theater kid in the making, if not already. Or slash class president slash valedictorian. Like, she does it all. She does it all. Also, star athlete. I just feel like Alessandra's that type. She's so, she's like very type A. Alessandra, because she talks a lot and she's just trying to get people to not think she's... Aw, oh, she talks a lot. Talking. Dude. He is One after very, my own heart. very suspicious. Michaela. Michaela. The person oh no, Kira! Don't don't say that. Eliminated this round is Michaela. Ah! It doesn't feel good to be eliminated. More was Alessandra. I don't know how they keep letting her slide. Like, do they not see the names? Do they? I don't know how they keep letting her slide. Oh, this is such a cheesy photo. Ah. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> Preston's like, oh, you're gonna give me Instagram depression. Oh my god. 
It looks a lot like his Memoji. That looks like a fifth grader. And second of all, it wasn't taken long ago. But Amy said, you look so cool. Zoe said, cool. Alessandra said, do you play basketball? I said, yes. Dude, why does Alessandra have a full-on headshot? She is a theater kid. She's... Is she in L.A.? Is she, like, one of these, like... Why does she have headshots? I don't, I don't know. Oh, my goodness gracious. It kind of looks like her meme. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Wow. Preston is in love. Ooh, ooh. Oh, man. That looks like very good quality, so... Alessandra's a girl. If I look at it... <laughs> That looks like very good quality, so Alessandra's a girl. Yeah. <laughs> what? Looks like very good quality, so Alessandra's a girl. If I <laughs> Dude, what? Dude, Preston's hilarious. Look at it like it is a college student, then I can see it being a college student. But if I look at it as a fifth grader, I can also see it as a fifth grader. Dude, Zoe, I, I relate to all these kids in different ways. Zoe is the over my overanalyzing side. Nice. Pick. She's like, honestly, it can go both ways. That means a lot. Wait, she said it's so cute. Does that mean she's older than me? You use the same type of camera as me. Wait, what? You use the same type of camera as me? How does he know that? What does that even mean? Oh, goodness. I love it. Aww, Zoe. Oh, is this, uh... It, wait, is this Zoe? I don't know. Aww. I don't know. So sweet. No, no, no. They don't say sweet. Wait, oh my god, I think it's her. She's got pigtails. Pigtails are really good. Do I know her? <laughs> uh, pigtails are really what? <laughs> Amy, I'm going for you. Ooh. Oh, wait, was that Amy? Was that supposed to be uh, Amy? Oh, goodness. Oh, it is Amy. Okay. Is that one of their older photos or is that just a random child? No, I don't know. So sweet. No, no, no. They don't say sweet. Wait, oh my god, I think it's her. She's got pigtails. Pigtails are really. Do I know her? Pigtails. She's on the. She's like pigtails. That's old people shit. <laughs> Amy, I'm going for you. Ooh. Micah's got a headshot too. What's going on here? Nice I mean, maybe this is just like a cropped in photo. Uh, nice shot. Good smile right there. That's a nice smile. Much appreciated to make my teeth there. Yeah, we don't gotta get into that. Everyone keeps complimenting me. He looks- Aw, Micah. He's like a sixth grader, though. I'm probably voting Micah for this round. I'm the only person that put my full body in the picture. <laughs> oh, Zoe. Huh. They're definitely gonna suspect me, aren't they? Nice pose. Nice pose. <laughs> oh, Jeans. You owe me a soda. You look swaggin'. I wonder, like, I feel like that was a big risk. Like, Jinx, you owe me a soda. Like, I wouldn't know if kids are still saying that. Jinx, you owe me a soda. <laughs> Zoe ate, yeah. Zoe's give, giving the camera her all. Did somebody say swaggin'? Sorry. Oh, Alessandra, you look swaggin'. Dude, fifth graders. What? Swaggin'. All of them look like a child. This is going to be a very hard decision. It's Amy. <laughs> Dude, Preston's like, honestly, this is going to be a very difficult decision to Mike and going, Amy, it's Amy. Amy's the fake one. Looks like a child. This is going to be a very hard decision. It's Amy. Because I've seen that picture before. I've seen it somewhere. Micah. Oh, interesting. Micah's like, I've scoured the internet before. Look, I'm, I'm on the internet every day. My I can be on until my mom tells me to get off. And uh, I've definitely seen that photo before. Because in his photo, he looks very mature. Alessandra. In her picture, I couldn't really tell whether she was a college student or a fifth grader. Amy, because usually when people look back at their old photos, they say, ew. And that's what she said. A-M-Y. If it's not Amy, then I don't know. I've seen it somewhere. I've I've seen it somewhere. And the person eliminated on round three is Amy. Yes, yes. Oh, Amy. Oh. I love the little dance Alessandra did. Three is 
Amy. Yes. yes. Oh. Amy. <laughs> oh. I feel bad for her. Yeah. I knew that this was gonna be our end. Then why didn't you say it? I said it. Well, now after we already, we could have found another picture. Oh my god. I'm a fifth grader because I play with slime. I do Roblox. I ride my scooter. I like. It's like so weird to ask fifth graders to be self-aware. You know what I mean? I play with slime. I'm a fifth grader because, and then how would you list, uh, I guess you know stereotypical fifth grader stuff as a fifth grader. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I'm a fifth grader because, like, oh man, I don't have my photo from fifth grade. But, yeah, I'm a fifth grader because I play Pokemon, and, uh, you know, it's like, I don't know what I would say. I'm a fifth grader because I play with slime, I do Roblox, I ride I do a scooter, Roblox. I like fantasy books. And lastly, because I do ballet. I'm a fifth oh, grader ballet. because I just graduated from fourth grade last year, and I am working on double double doubles. And I love to play Roblox and Minecraft. And I love I fully expected Preston to say he was double majoring. I'm actually I just finished fourth grade, but I'm actually a double major in fifth and sixth grade. <laughs> Preston did like I don't know what double double doubles is. Um, I watch Preston plays and think noodles and Ninjago and Phineas and Ferb. I am a fifth. Dude, Phineas and Ferb, that's old people shit. Phineas and Ferb, that's an old people show. Greater because last year I was in fourth grade. My favorite movie is Frozen Two, and my favorite not Frozen One. TV show is Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yo, Zoe has take for not being able to only being able to watch screens for an hour she's she's spending her time well if you don't believe me my class my fifth grade classroom number is five three two four dude that is simultaneously means nothing and also means everything zoe is like because i feel like as a college student i wouldn't think to give such a specific piece of useless information but but Zoe, <laughs> Zoe's like, if you don't believe me, come find me. Classroom 5324. I, I stay ready. Um, my class, my fifth grade classroom number is 5324. I am a fifth grader because I like to play way too many video games. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know how to, uh, say this, Micah. I do way too many classes, and I hate them. I, <laughs> I do way too many classes, and I hate them. <laughs> That's a fifth grader for sure. I hate them with all my heart. Um. He just said that he has too many classes. And I play way too much Roblox. He, he's like, that's a giveaway. That's a giveaway. He's a college student. On yep. my computer. Okay. Dude, Alessandra's like, we get it, you play Roblox. Fifth grader right there. We're all fifth graders. We eliminated the liar. Mm. Alessandra, she's with it. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Micah has already caught at college levels of tired. Yeah. I'm gonna vote for Micah. It's not him, but I'm gonna vote for him. Zoe. Micah said, I have too many classes. And I hate them. Too many classes means he's probably in college. I would choose Micah. Just because his voice sounds a little bit older than any of ours. Everyone oh, they could hear their voices that time. His voice sounded like fifth grade. They didn't sound like they were like, Hi, I'm a administrator. I don't know that. Dude, Alessandra's destined for greatness. The person eliminated this round is Micah. Micah, yes. No. <laughs> really feel bad for Micah. It was a good round. All right, Preston, Zoe, and why? Alessandra. I'm kind of confused as to why they're still going. Give me a thumbs up if you want to continue the game, or give me a thumbs down if you think you caught the mole and you want to end the game here. I think we've caught them all. I think we're all fifth graders. Oh, she has such out. a joy about her now. I feel like before she was stressed out, but now she really feels like she got it. This is very... I'm very, very nervous. 
I love uh, when Preston talks to the camera. Okay, everyone has done thumbs down. You guys have voted no. We so we are going game. to end the game yeah, here. Yeah. You guys believe that you guys already caught the mole. Man, I, I'm like, what, what's stopping us from being being like this as adults? I, I think we can learn a thing or two from these kids. Oh. I really hope we caught the mole. I really hope. I am feeling pretty confident that we won, guys. I'm feeling confident. Let's go. Come on. Let's do this. If the box is green, you win. And if the box is red, the mole. Dude, the bouncing. The mole is still in the game, and you guys lost. Okay? In three, two, one. We won. We won. Yes. We won. We won! Yes. Oh my gosh! We did it! We won! We did it! We did it! Oh my gosh, we won! So everyone, turn on your cameras in three, two... Dude, the bitmojis of everyone's so funny. Two, one... They're like, they don't... <laughs> Sorry! I just saw Gordon's... Gordon's bitmoji, dude. Oh man. Hi. Hi everyone. It was Amy. What? Oh my gosh, it's Amy. I'm Katie. I'm Iris. Um, we're and sisters. we're sisters. <laughs> Wait, and we're both in Amy? No. <laughs> no. How did you guys know? You were not grammatical at all. I give up. It was all because of the picture. The photo you posted? Yeah, sorry, that photo looked old to me. Do we look like we're in college? No, no, Kind no. of, you. Yeah. Uh, a little so, bit. <laughs> you look like you're in, like, the end of high school. True. You look younger. You, I think you look like you're in middle school. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me who thought that. Is that a compliment? Yes. It's a okay. Yeah, because being old is bad. If you're if you're if you're older than middle school, then you may as you may as well be dead. Yeah, <laughs> Zoe. Yes. They're like, yes, it's a compliment. Oh my god, middle school is cool. Be <laughs> being in being in college being college age is bad. Thanks, guys. Something about being special about a fifth grader is. I don't know, it's like the head of the elementary school. You're the top. We're not too young to be considered a tiny child. It's basically the midway in life. <laughs> Gordon said, I am middle aged. <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> oh my God. The elementary school, you're the top. We're not too young to be considered a tiny child <laughs> it's basically the midway in life well no i'd say that like 30 years old is the midway but yeah close to like the midway between child and <laughs> 30 years old is the midway of life oh god teenager they're all really <laughs> funny a lot of them are very intelligent i don't know it was fun it was yeah, great fun. experience obviously you want to win but i'm glad the kids got money yeah you don't seem like bad college students stealing money from little kids <laughs> oh man dude it's tough being at the midway of life six families one fake family that sounds triggering as hell no thank you That was really precious, though. That was cute. All right. Oh, Gordon's in another. Oh, that was the same video. That was the same video. It was just I didn't recognize the. Oh, that's weird. Interesting. Is it gonna, just going to be like one weeb? Six Asians, one <laughs> one public weeb. I do kind of want to watch the Harry Potter one. Speed dating 10 comedians based on their jokes. Fascinating. I 
I wonder, I saw this video and I don't know what it is. I'm like, I'm curious as what this is. Am I even attractive to you? You're handsome, you're a handsome guy. <laughs> This this might be cringy. Hi. Hi. Why are you here? I'm about to tell my friend that I like her. Aw. What do you mean like? Like would like to date her. <laughs> I'm here. That's like stressful. That sounds something like something you wouldn't want to film. Here to confess my feelings towards a friend. We met last summer through our internship. What are you here to do today? To confess something that I've been holding on to for a while. What is it? My attraction to a human. Who is this human? Bianca is her name. How do you know Bianca? Dude, everybody's kind of like really stylish in this way. I am now through my sister, but in high school, um, I knew of her. What'd you know of her? She was just highly talked about in my group of friends. Why do you? I don't like that. You want to reveal your feelings in the dark. I don't have to look at her. I have an issue with eye contact. Like, I really just don't have to look at her. I guess you don't see each other's facial expressions, and she makes a... This video is short. That's why I kind of wasn't... Like, I didn't hate... Like, I was like, it's very quick to figure out what it's going on. Face, I won't see that face. It's definitely exciting to be in a different environment. It's probably something that he would think that's exciting, too. What's the worst case scenario? Worst case scenario is me telling her makes her not deal with me even more. Like, she's like, fuck you. I've gotten rejected so many times. You're not worried about being rejected? No. I mean, it hurts. It fucking hurts. Are you nervous? Oh, very. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Lights off. I mean, I feel like this has, this is like very volatile. It has the potential to be really cute. You know what I mean? Forward. A little bit more forward. I don't know how close we are. I don't either. Eh, high five. Oh, oh, okay. Hey. It's weird. I've actually never, like, I, I'm obviously familiar with infrared, but I've never seen people in, like, like this is interesting to see people interacting in the dark where they, they actually don't know what they look like. <laughs> okay. Wow, you did two hands. Yeah. Wow. Where are you at? Oh, hi! <laughs> Hi. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's... Good boy. Do you know why you're here today? Um, our friendship? <laughs> you know, because, like, I wonder... Because wouldn't you become sp spatially, like, disoriented? Like, because I feel like they're still cheating towards the camera. Um, and I wonder if they're getting notes of, like, where the camera is at. You know? Do I deal with rejection well? Um, I deal with it. Does anybody deal with it well? I mean, I deal with it okay. I, I'm like not, I'm not, I'm, I'm proud of how I deal with it. Oh, are Oops. you here today? Um, our friendship? <laughs> no, see, it, it, it wasn't a no. I, I, I said I'm proud of how I deal with it. I think I deal with rejection well for who I so am. So why do you think we're here? I don't really know. Oh, really? Yeah. What do you think? we are gonna do in the dark. Maybe you're gonna tell me something? <laughs> this is wild. Scott, what do you have to say? We're here to talk about the fact that I have a crush on you. Oh, I can't see it, I can't see it. I, it's so funny, cause this person's in the dark, you know what I mean? And like the fact that they do this with their body, it's like so, it's like so natural, Scott, right? what do you have to say? We're here to talk about the fact that I have a crush on you. Oh, I can't see it. I can't see it. Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't know if you could tell, but I, I like, really like you a lot. Um. This is, I mean, I under, this is, I can definitely be cringy, but this is sweet. If you're down, want to be, like, more than friends. Um, but, oh, you're so sorry. <laughs> I'm just listening. Um. What do you mean by more than friends? <laughs> I like you. I mean, that's not a bad, that's not, so far it's not going horrible for her. Oh, um, I think you're super cute and I think- Wait, wait, do you think I'm gay? Uh.
It just took a turn. It just took a turn. Why are there shadows? Because they're like infrared shadows. Um. I know. I know. Okay, chat. Abort. Abort. Wait, is my food here? <laughs> is it great? I leave and never come back. Yep, you're right back. This could be a joke. This could fully be a joke. I think, I think, I think it's a joke, you know. Oh, wait, why did I put these in? I don't need these. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> wait, are you not gay? No, I'm gay. Okay, <laughs> fuck you. Oh, that was a great place to pause. That was a great place to pause. All right, we'll watch it full. And I think... Wait, wait, do you think I'm gay? Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, are you not gay? No, I'm gay. Okay, fuck you. If I wanted to. They're they're friends, you know. They're friends. It's not like they're strangers, you know. Why would he joke in a time like this? Well, we don't know their we don't know their friendship. We don't know their friendship, you know. So that could be that could be fun for them. If you want a date with you? Oh. Would you go with me? Oh, okay. Oh. oh. Uh oh. Um, like we can go on a date. I'm like, I don't. I'm. Dude, she's very uncomfortable with the silence, and I would be too. What about you? And I want to know, wh what are you feeling right now? No, I, I, I'm still processing it. You shouldn't go on a date with me if you're not attracted. I don't just go on dates with anybody, so. I'm not into oh, it. she's she's playing she's playing hard to get. She's actually into it. I feel I feel like she's into it. Body uh oh. Wait, what did he say? On dates with. Anybody. Let me just turn on the regular captions for this. I cannot tell what people are saying. Anybody, so. I'm not anybody though. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I had a little suspicion. Um, I'm I, I feel the exact same way. Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> There's like this can I'm, I I feel the exact same way. Wait, oh. Really? Yes. Oh my God. This connection where it's just like I can't really just not talk to you. Or oh, not this is so sweet. Go forward. Yeah, I have kind of a big crush on you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Feelings mutual. Okay. Yeah. So That's so cool. Poison. That's so cool. That's definitely big upside of taking the risk of watching this video. That's so sweet. <laughs> Somebody said, when will that happen to me? I mean, same. Okay, you know, our day will come. But I also generally tend to go towards older guys. Oh. Like, well, someday I'll be older. <laughs> someday. I can't say I necessarily feel it in the same way. When you first popped up, I was just like, wow, she's just stunning. Oh. There's not one part of you that's not over the top, just... God. Is there any future you can picture us being around each other uh, more? We hang out and there's a connection because I don't know if there is, then who's to say that there's not? Am I even attractive to you? That's a sad question. You're handsome. You're a handsome guy. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> We're both like kissers, I think. Yeah. In my opinion. I like her lips. Aw. <laughs> All right. Lights on. Oh. That right? Yeah. Uh, oh, hello. Hi. I feel shy now. <laughs> Can you turn the lights back off? <laughs> what was it like having that conversation in the dark? I read facial expressions and I usually tailor my words towards that, but that not being present made it, I think, easier for me to not overthink what I was going to say. Where do you two go from here in your relationship? I mean, I'm sure we're gonna hang out sooner than later now that this conversation has been had. So, there's not gonna be a date? 
What do you think? I mean, I, I would like hanging out. No pressure. You don't have to change anything just because I told you. Yeah, okay, yeah. Go. Cool. <laughs> anything else you want to say to each other? Um, I don't know. Still really like you. Yeah, I like you. That's, they're, 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 they make yeah. the whole video, okay. obviously. Lights off. Good for them. Good for them. I'm saving this video for Jordan. Kid therapist. Couples therapy, but the kid therapist is seven years old. <laughs> oh, I remember watching this video. I, I think Jordan and I watched this video on his stream, I think. This is that's triggering. Let's watch the Harry Potter one. I don't know if I'll finish this one, but I we'll wasn't watch allowed it. to read them. I used to be really into Harry Potter, but in in the last decade, I think I've forgotten a lot of my knowledge. Growing up, and my parents were like, "We don't want you to become a witch," and I was like, <laughs> "Well, uh, it's fake." Um. We brought together seven Harry Potter fans. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. Why do people Potter have to come dressed I'm up? I'm a Harry Potter fan. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? Yo, K-pop super fans versus one pay. I think the best thing to the right now is say your house and your paternus. Oh, that's a good idea. Is that with you? Okay. Ravenclaw, Otter. Okay, I'm a Hufflepuff and I'm a Shrew. Hufflepuff and Sugar Glider. Wait, are they naming like Patronuses or something? And slash, is that so? Does everybody have one in their head for themselves? I think the best thing to do right now is say your house and your paternus. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Is that with you? Okay. Ravenclaw, Otter. Okay, I'm a Hufflepuff and I'm a Shrew. Hufflepuff. Oh, my Patronus from like, uh, well, I, they changed the name of the website, but the, my Pottermore Patronus was such a weird thing. It was so weird. Puff and Sugar Glider. Ravenclaw Alchemy. Ravenclaw Red Squirrel. <laughs> Sugar Glider. Ravenclaw Alchemy. Alchemy. That guy, that's, yeah, that's sus. Sus as Ravenclaw hell. Red Squirrel. Ravenclaw <laughs> Otter. Gryffindor Otter. I think I was most suspicious of Rachel. Her and I were the only ones that kind of came on full customs. Because I was expecting everybody would do it. So when nobody did, I was like, hmm. Who's read the books? Oh, OK, perfect. OK, cool. What's your favorite book? Third. OK. Goblet of Fire. The first one? Yeah. I'd say the seventh. There's a random. I'd say Order of the Phoenix. I'm half Blood Prince, so. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. I was really suspicious of Cameron. He wasn't wearing real Hufflepuff gear. He wasn't talking as much, so I thought he felt overwhelmed with the amount of material. He wasn't wearing real Hufflepuff gear. What did they, like, what did they expect here? <laughs> there isn't real Hufflepuff gear. It's a fictional story. We were talking about? What's the spell that Hermione said oh, in the book when he, she fixed Harry's, like, glasses? Oculus Reparo? Yes. Yeah. What book you said? Second book. Yeah. When they're at, di when they're at Diagon Alley. I know what you're getting at. It's not the second book. Yes, it is. It's yeah, Diagon she does it He was like, and I was like, whoa. And I. What was your question? Book you said? Second fixed Harry's like glasses. Talking about? What's the spell that Hermione said in the second book when he, she fixed Harry's like glasses? Oh yeah, cause they it happens twice. I see what's happening now. Oculus Reparo, yeah. Oculus Reparo. Yes. Yeah. What book you said? Second book. Yeah. When they're at, di when they're at Diagon Alley. Oh, I know what you're getting at. It happens in the first movie, in the second book, right? I don't know if it happens in the first book, but it definitely happens in the first movie. It's not the second book. Yes, it is. It's yeah, she Diagon does it Island. twice. He was like, and I was like, 
whoa. And I, so I got kind of like defensive. No. She's being specific. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'm... Oh. Okay, good catch. Good catch. Um, for the two Ravenclaws, what are the actual Ravenclaw colors? Oh, um, blue bronze. and bronze. When you have seven people, one minute is not enough. Everything was moving so fast, so it's hard to guess who else might it be. Dude, I don't remember that. What are the uh, Ravenclaw colors? I don't think I ever like thought about the Ravenclaw claw colors. Blue and bronze. I was most suspicious of Cameron because he didn't talk at all. Dude, Cameron looks like an Auror though. You know what I'm saying? This man looks like a looks like a glorified hall monitor. I'm just, I'm just I would have voted myself out. I feel like I took one breath and then I was gone. When did you guys start reading Harry Potter? Yeah, that was So good. I read the first book the year it came out, so I was Ooh. in fifth grade. My mom read it to our mm. our fifth grade class. I didn't read the books until seven years ago God, because I was agreed. born and raised in El Salvador. So over there, it was just too expensive for me to get the books. With my first salary, I bought my first Harry Potter book, which was the first book. My sister was a huge Harry Potter fan. By the way, I bought my in El Salvador. So over there, mm. it was just too expensive for me to get the books. With my first salary, I bought my first Harry Potter book, which was the first book. My sister was a huge Harry Potter fan, but I was like a little scared because I saw Voldemort and like, is this like a horror movie mm. in high school had a really, really she's kind of introduced this sister and now it's like well is the sister the fan or are you you know crush on this guy <laughs> and he was a big potter head and i just wanted to really impress him so i started Aww. reading all the books and I, I watched all the movies when did it come out uh, 98 uh-oh uh-oh Is it 97? Ah, 97. Fake fan. I'm a fake fan. Like if you're watching this, <laughs> turn the video off. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to read them growing up, and my parents were like, we don't want you to become a witch. And I was like, <laughs> well, uh, it's fake. Uh, Hufflepuffs. Yes. Who's your head of house? Uh, it's uh, uh, Professor Sprout. Question for the Ravenclaws. What is your true mascot? It's, a, oh. it's an oh. eagle. Oh. Um, for the Ravenclaws, who is our head of house? You mean the I founder? Mean, founder. founder of house. Is Rowena. Rowena. Now we need Rowena. to question the, the Gryffindor. Yeah, yes. oh, someone yeah, yeah. give me a question. All right, cool. What was Ludo Bagman known for? Oh, he's the um, Quidditch announcer, right? At the um, World Ludo Cup? Ludo Bagman? No. But I don't remember oh, what he... Oh, is that the wrong answer? I asked a question about Ludo Bagman, who's a character in the books who didn't make it into the movies. Yeah. I was trying to see if she had actually read the books versus just maybe watching the movies or maybe just trying to study up. My heart is pounding right now because, like, <laughs> I feel like I read okay. so much fan fiction that I'm like... I'm kind of... Th that guy's definitely a fan now, especially because I realized I misheard his... Uh... Akami. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what's can? Yeah, JK ruined my love and nostalgia for Harry Potter as well, but I have, you know, artifacts of it in my brain still. Ask you about that. Oh, did you read Isolation? Yes, of oh, course. Oh, okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Isolation is a fan fiction about a budding romance between Draco and Hermione. Of yeah, of course I read it. It's a classic. And I have a, a question for you. <laughs> yeah. uh, why you didn't bra besides your... That's pretty funny. Of course I read it. It's a classic. It's a classic. And I have a, a question for you. Yeah, uh, why you didn't bra besides your one any other? Like Okay, uh, first of all, <laughs> Harry Potter apparel is so expensive. I didn't wear any merchandise. It probably like gave a lot of people reason to suspect me. His shirt was comics related. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel like it's a little gatekeeper-y, right? Like, if, if this feels like, uh, yeah, why didn't you come in? Why didn't you wear the jersey? Why didn't you wear the team jersey? To the, to the football game, and I'm like, well, fucking doesn't mean you're a fan if you just have the clothes. For sure have a one, but what about the rest of the clothes? What is your favorite scene from the books? Like something that wasn't in the movie. Oh. That's a good question. Yeah. If everybody read the books, then they should be able to name a scene in the books that wasn't in the movies. Mine is when... I mean... Yeah, I mean, like, some of the... I mean, maybe if you, like, are truly... Like, I feel like you could be a... You could be a big fan of something without... Memorizing every scene front to back. 
Dumbledore, uh, Voldemort died because in the movies he died as uh, like the, he he yeah, disintegrated, the but in the books yes, he yes. died as a mortal man. Uh, Ron and Hermione become prefects, and Malfoy does too. And then mm -hmm. they're like walking through school, and Hermione's like, "Harry, don't go picking around with Malfoy." He's oh god, she's doing the voice. Prefect now, he can make life difficult for you. And he goes, "Wow, I wonder what it would be like to have a difficult life." Honestly, I think it have to be the Quidditch final. Okay, well at least she's not she's not a fake fan. Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, because there was that, that just wasn't included in the movie. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I really wish that they include like Peeves, the poltergeist, oh, throughout yeah. the whole like movies, like he was. You know, Peeves. Peeves was also in some of the vid video games, back in my day. Back in my day. <clears throat> Um, but he wasn't in the movies, peeps. There. Oh, do you guys like Snape? Snape fans? Yes. No. I hate I Snape. He hurt Petunia. He literally got her hit with a branch, and that's when he like showed effect. There's like, nothing in any of the books, any of the movies that shows like that he wasn't actually all about that life. In both in the books and, and the movies, I feel like all along he has Dumbledore support. I don't know what's. I don't like Dumbledore. <laughs> He's a manipulator. I don't like him. He's weird. Uzer was talking. Oh, it's interesting. I haven't, I haven't thought, I haven't like reanalyzed any other relationships in Harry Potter because I stopped thinking about it. But peace with J.K. Self insert so much he is probably only giving all the facts that he study and speaking more so the rest don't get to talk oh yeah, yeah Dumbled she's she's she, she's wise to some of the strats people use there's a manipulator he is literally <laughs> literally <laughs> like no 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 he's like like oh, like 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 that's pretty. Wow, you do. I like that. Like you like Dumbledore? Yeah. Okay, that'd be good. I look at each character as if like they're people, and Dumbledore's background, exactly. like with his thing with Grindelwald, so I feel like that makes him human. At the same time, I can kind of relate to him. I'm sorry. I don't know about her. Yeah, Kylie's my the person I think who's not the real fan. Tie. The tie is between Kylie and Intong. That means we're going into a tiebreaker. Intong is the one who's read the fan fiction though, right? She read it with this girl. So I think it's I think it's Kylie. Each of you is going to get 20 seconds to state your case. I think like everyone here would know the quote um, at the end of the book when Peeves comes out into like the Why is she back on Peeves? On says like She's read one Harry Potter book we recently. She just read the first Harry Potter book. Did it. Uh, we bashed them. We Potter's the one. Foldy has gone mold. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so it's just funny to me that she's like, I'm for sure a true fan. <laughs> like, I'm going to quote a specific passage badly. <laughs> and she's like, I'm sure we all remember this one. Um, <laughs> well, these guys will be I mean, I'm a late Potterhead, but I freaking love Harry Potter. I've been to like all the landmarks. I've been to Leadenhall Market. I've been to Black Park. I've been to the Elephant House. And I she's a real fan. Spent so much time there. Oh my god! And I've also been to Harry Potter World, obviously. I I went to a set tour uh, when I was in the UK. I'm just a really big Harry Potter, and I'm super nervous, and I think that's why I'm like so quiet and I black out. But what? What? No way, dude. It's gotta be this girl. Excuse me? We all remember the famous peeps. Uh, it went, um, we all remember it. What, Harry, uh, Moldy, Oldie. Guys, sorry. sorry. This will be the favorite movie scene round. Each of you will get to tell the others what your favorite Harry Potter movie scene is. Why? My favorite book, a movie is- Or she went to those places because her sister is a fan. Fair point. But she did- Dude, I can't remember places I've been very easily. And so I, I was just impressed that she like named people places. This is the third one, but my favorite scene is from the- But she also uh, named uh, the fan fiction. And 
I feel like you'd have to be pretty close with your sister to remember the name of the Draco Hermione fan fiction. Six on when Harry Potter, he drank Felix, like the lucky charm. And Felix Felicis? He's just walking and then like Professor Slughorn comes and he's like, Harry! And he's like, sir! When they are at the uh, like dinner hall and each is eating like in their house um, tables, he started <laughs> fluttering with the girl that he wanted to go. I'm forgetting her name. Then he's like, oh. Oh, okay. I wanted water for these. I was staring to that book. That's so weird. Like they they were all just talking about. That's so weird. It's weird that you would forget Cho Chang's name. I feel like Cho Chang is such a iconic uh, character for you know better or for worse. N maybe not for the best reasons. But all of water. So he goes like, you know, yeah. How does she forget Cho's name? Water, like, goes <laughs> because he's just so nervous because flooring with her. The first one I just screwed it up. So I was like, okay, I have a backup. And I have another one. Harry gives Dobbins the book with the sock, and he found this. He's like, oh, master, have give Dobbins. Cho Chang is an interesting name. Oh, it's an awful name. It's a it's a horrible name. Uh, Yes, sir. It's and, like a racist name, pretty in much. Order of the Phoenix, the fight between Dumbledore and Voldemort is just crazy. Like, mm. that's the only reason I really like the Harry Potter movies is because it gave me a way to actually see. This guy seems like a fan, but he seems like a, the movies are bad, but but some some they have some cool scenes sometimes. What I've been reading since I was ten. It's like a flashback of James Potter and him like bullying. Uh, Snape and saying, oh, I'm taking down Snivelly's trousers. I think that's a very important scene to me because it shows that even though it Wait, is Grisha the one who also was like, why didn't you come dressed in Harry Potter clothes and then forgot Cho Chang's name? Is that, am I getting that correct? Oh, James Potter, you mean Nick is not green? It's like someone to look up to. There's like flaws in every character. Deathly Hallows, when Hermione has to obliviate her parents. It's Wait, did she give another quote? That's a very important bullying. It's like a flashback of James Potter and him like bullying uh, Snape and saying, oh, I'm taking down Snivelly's trousers, I think. Yeah, I feel like she studied. I feel like she studied and she's not a real fan. Very important scene to me because it shows that even though it's like someone to look up to, there's like flaws in every character. Deathly Hallows, when Hermione has to obliviate her parents. It's so sad. Oh, dude, that is so fucking sad. It's a very Gryffindor thing for her to do to protect her parents by obliviating them. She doesn't even know if she can get their memories back. The most suspicious person, I think, was uh, Grecia because she blanked out on a couple things. I'm not a muggle. <laughs> Did she say I'm not a muggle? I'm not a muggle. I think she said I'm not a muggle, not I'm not a model. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. I was really disappointed. I went in the whole effort to like come in a complete uniform. Maybe the mole felt like threatened and that's why they got me out. <laughs> if you want to continue playing the game, please raise your hand in three, two, one. We'll vote one more time. In three, two, one. <laughs> Kylie doesn't want to keep playing the game because she wants to win. She's she's the she's the mole. Her sister was a big Harry Potter fan. She could be wearing her sister's sweatshirt and using her sister's wand. I started doubting like Brian. He might be the least likely option, but that would be like the biggest gasp moment. I'll do one last vote, <laughs> and that's it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We've never had a situation like this. Oh. <laughs> what can I say? We're magical. I... It's... One of you guys could be the moles because you guys wanted to end so you guys can get the money. There's no harm in just having another round, I think. I feel like we got the mole. All three of you guys have given some pretty, like, deep cuts. The level of material that we've been talking about, it's too intense that I think the mole wouldn't be able to spit out those facts so easily. No, I dude, she's the mole. Because I'm, I'm calling like it. I'm sticking to this real hard. He's like, I need to, like, have it down to, like, <laughs> the last survivors. I don't know what to do anymore. Let's go for one last round of votes. Dude, Three, she one, is two, the mole. I, I'm just, I'm holding to it. Okay, Better not be anything like that. I will crucio you. <laughs> so if the lights turn green, you guys win. Oh if the lights turn God. red, 
Please turn red. Please turn red. I need I need vindication. So Sorry, I was expecting green and it turned blue, and so I didn't know how to feel. Turned green, I was like, all right, cool, we're good. I Damn. Like, I'm really I really I, I, don't I, I don't buy it. To the end, I'm very proud of myself. I'm, I'm sorry, Haley, I voted you several times. It's I was, okay. I was kind of suspicious of you. Now I feel bad, obviously. I, I was suspicious of you, because you like, you knew so much, I was like, odd man out's gonna psych me out. <laughs> Will the mole please step forward and reveal yourself in three, two, one. Oh, okay. She, so she got me with her so fan fiction. So I, I still don't. I still don't believe in the like in, when she got eliminated. It didn't seem like a very compelling uh, reason to like because. Yeah. I'm a Hufflepuff. I took, the, I took the quiz, but my roommate is a huge Potterhead. I was traumatized by Voldemort's face when I was six in the first movie, and that's why I just never went back. Considering that I've never actually read any of the Harry Potter books, and I only watched like two of the movies, I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah, I think she did do a pretty good job. What did she say? She, I mean, maybe she disagreed about the fan fiction, and I just assumed she named it. She did a good job. Into Harry Potter, and I never will be into Harry Potter. I can already hear the haters behind the screen. No. So you haven't read Isolation. I just studied about it. Oh, she studied about it. Wow. Dude, she's good. She's good. This is, she's like, I've been betrayed. I trusted you. Wow, dude, she's good. She may be one of the better, more researched people. You know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like usually people, I don't know. I'm, I, like, she did a good job. <laughs> that feels so betrayed. That you did study and the fact that you brought a sweater, props to you. He didn't, he didn't do it. So. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> Dude, she's stuck on that. I don't specifically think that you have to read the books to be a fan. If you do read the books, you are able to appreciate it more. I had immigrated to the United States at a young age. Harry Potter was like a place of solace for me, or a refuge. I was able to be part of something, like bigger, part of something that is like magical and like can take you away or Aww. distract you from like, things that you're going through or like tough things. I think that's why it has like a special place in my heart. <laughs> And that's and the least you can do is dress up. <laughs> the least you can do is don the garb. <laughs> Money. Money. All right, that was that was fun. That worked out better than expected. Marvel super fans, one secret DC fan. I don't really have like strong uh, opinions about Marvel and DC. But maybe we watch it. I just because I, I think the people who are left win money. Oh, that's a good question, Kira. I actually don't know. I kind of want to watch it just because. Yeah, let's. Because I feel like there's gonna be people who like just watch the Marvel movies or something. Hey guys, I'm so excited for this episode of Odd Man Out. But first, a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Make sure to stick around to the end of the episode to learn how to get a free trial of premium membership and to check out one of our favorite classes. But for now, enjoy the episode. How can you tell if someone is a true Marvel fan? through their knowledge of the comic books and movies? Perfection. Is it by their collection of Marvel merchandise? Maybe it's by how they dress or even- Have any of the other Odd Man Outs had like an intro like this? Even if they cosplay. We brought together seven Marvel fans. One is a liar. If the group- Okay, maybe they have and they just like zoned discovers out. Discovers who the liar is, they'll win a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the cash prize. This is Odd Man Out. I can do this all day. That's basically my game plan and strategy. As long as they like me and think that I'm a Marvel fan, we're good. I don't know why I'm nervous because I am a Marvel fan. I need to know you do more than watch the movies. Everyone watches the movies. Maybe somebody who used to like Marvel and then doesn't anymore, doesn't like how the MCU is or something like that. Just superhero fans in general know a lot about even the, the superheroes that they hate. As you can see, I've turned this into a thing just a little bit. Dude, wow. Wow. 
do you think that guy like submits himself to open casting calls for like Marvel movies and it's like, hey, I mean if you need an extra suit <laughs> I've got it. As you can see, I've turned this into a thing just a little bit. Does anyone else have Oh it's like Zoom anymore? style. Oh so everybody's like oh okay this is odd. Tattoos. You know, I haven't got mine yet. <laughs> I got my explore tattoo. Ooh, can we see it? I gotta add her name in Kakoan. But. Oh, wow. Very nice. Wow. Okay. Wow. Just gonna put that. Yo, if I ever do Odd Man Out, I um. I am gonna go get like an ink box, like temporary tattoo of whatever the topic is, and then nobody's gonna suspect me. They're gonna be like, whoa, you got tatted? I have a Star Lord and I have Rocket Raccoon. You can see the bottom kind of of the Star Lord there. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. So, Jared, why are you dressed up as Cap? Do you cosplay him? Yeah, I'm a cosplayer. This, I can wear this suit too. I've been to several different conventions, and this is what I do for fun. We may have ran into each other in cosplay before, Jared. I usually cosplay a storm. Has anyone gone to any conventions anyone? I'm from New York so I always go to Comic Con. I live in London so I've gone to the MGM Comic Con. Oh nice. Are you guys more uh, cinematic uh, universe fans or more of like the comics, video games? Comics. Everything. Who's your guys' uh, favorite characters? Who's your favorite character? Spider-Man. Which Spider-Man? I literally like every iteration of like first Spider-Man movies. I think Tom Holland did the best job. Because he looked like a teenager. Yeah, he looked like a <laughs> like teenager. Like he looked like a kid. Andrew Garfield is too cool, I think. He's so hot, but like, it wasn't really Spider-Man, you know? <laughs> we don't. I feel like you're wasting time if you're talking about the actors who played Spider-Man. It's all too recent. It's all too popular. Everybody knows it. You know what I mean? Don't discriminate against yeah, Andrew Garfield exactly. in his home. <laughs> So that was kind of like a geek out round. We definitely wasted a little bit of time. I think that I- Oh, is Amanda the Jedi? She's a content creator? I'm pretty safe on everybody's radar. I felt like I had to show my tattoo very quickly. I'm definitely going to vote Eric this round. The other people gushing about Marvel stuff, Eric seemed very dry about it. I, this guy is for sure a real fan. I don't know, he just gives me the vibe. Like he's just, I think he like, he doesn't have the backdrop, you know, it's like, he doesn't seem too like, S sort of, uh, I guess, overcomp. He's not overcompensating, but I think he's for real. About it, I think Michael. He had the Venom sweater, but then I saw a huge Naruto rug, and I'm like, maybe he's an anime fan who knows something about Marvel. I think right now I'm most suspicious of Michael. Who I am voting off for this round is Eric. I think I'm gonna go for Eric. I think I'm gonna vote for Eric this round. Eric, you my vote. Sorry, buddy. And the person eliminated this round is Eric. Damn. I just noticed he had a Captain America shirt. See, He's also, it. I also didn't realize he had, um, what's his face is behind him? Uh, uh, he had like pop figures. Gosh, I keep is very cute, my vote. Sorry, buddy. And the person he that shirt everybody has that shirt though. That's like you can buy that at Target. Eliminated this round is I have that shirt. I I, I like but I have that shirt like 15 years ago. I feel Eric. Okay. Oh, you can't really see which way he's got like. I mean, but he could just be in somebody's house. He's got like a little Iron Man. Push. Yeah. He might be a fan. I just noticed he had but they also like you know you don't have the level of fan. <laughs> See you guys. And this is the show and tell round, also known as the Marvel Flex round. You will have. Yo, this is like actually. I actually love this Avengers to hoodie. This is kind of sick. Your most prized Marvel related merchandise or things that really show your Marvel flex. I forgot about this. Dude, I want to see some CGC graded comics. If anybody could show me a CGC graded comic, they're they're How not. Can a I not show it off? I mean, it's even though that doesn't mean anything. Glorious. <laughs> get on here, get this off. These boots because I like to wear my fandom. And these are the ones that I still own from way way back when when I was a kid. Should I bring my Ant Man helmet? 
That's cool. So these are like my Phil Noto variant comic book covers, which are like some of my all-time favorite things. A picture of me in cosplay. I could totally use that. Uh, this is harder than I thought it would be. The reason why it's in my closet is because I need like a proper UV filter. It's not on display because I care too much. I'm trying to be so careful with this right now. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. You don't need merch to be a Marvel fan. And I feel like the amount of merch that I have in front of me already, I can talk about. Okay, so this is the first thing that I want to talk about. My Stanley Dorbs and- I knew there was going to be a Stanley. And I got it signed from him. How coincidental is it that we're like recording this on his death anniversary? May he rest in peace. Whoa. He's always someone- She's a real fan. Someone I always looked up to. He created such amazing characters and gave hope to- Jared could just be a cosplayer. So many people. Though, he, I wonder if he's like, he kind of strikes me somebody who could like just like work at Disney, <laughs> you know, and like wear the costume. Cause like, picture. Oh. That's my annoying ex boyfriend. <laughs> I worked for an entire summer as a superhero. I carry the hammer like Thor. And because of that, I keep this little uh, Mjolnir. And the most significant, uh, in that summer, I worked a lot with children and we made DIY superheroes, you know, show them creativity over conflict. Mm, that's so sweet. Here's Wolverine. Uh, you know, his, uh, his eye. I'm sorry, buddy. It's not Wolverine, it's Patch. <laughs> <laughs> you got that? <laughs> this might be a little Marvel humor. Kind of a cop out. That, that actually, that, that mean that's like a deep cut for her. Gwen, Gwen laughed. She's a real fan. Everybody who laughs at that joke is a real fan. <laughs> this might be kind of a cop out, but I mean, the suit right here, I bought this whenever I paid my house off and that was a huge deal for me. I mean, I achieved that goal. And then I also wanted to show off that I drive an Iron Man car. Jarvis, you there? I have to go. <laughs> uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Did something happen? Did something happen? We should just keep watching. We should just keep watching the video. Mm. Uh. Uh What's your service say? Just throwing that out there and then you got <laughs> proof that Tony Stark has a heart. <laughs> this is my most prized possession that I'm waiting for a new UV case for. This is an original X-Men 2 poster from back when the movie came out. I was a kid, oh this movie God. changed my life. There was I love stuff like that. A comic shop in town that had this in their window. And I went in there and I was like, excuse me, sir, how much would it be to buy this? And he was like, I will give it to you for free, even though the bottom says not for distribution and that you're supposed to return it. And then here is the print. So like that, I got the background of purple, but that is the Star-Lord tattoo. And obviously the giant Spider-Man standee. I yield my time. I buy like- I yield my time. Purses with the wallets because I would- Oh, Rainbow Bun, thank you for the sub. Never fathom of being able to like have any of this growing up. Now that I'm an adult, I don't care, I'm buying it. Did she love Chris Storm? Claremont is my favorite writer that Marvel's ever had. Without him, I feel like there'd be no X-Men that we know of today. So my favorite X-Men story, God Loves, Man Kills, signed by Chris Claremont. Do you like anything else in the Marvel Universe, or is it like just an X-Men thing for you? I like the Avengers. They're um, actually, no, I don't. They're all, they're all right. I like the <laughs> Avengers as far as like... Whoa, what if she's just a X-Men fan, but like not a Marvel fan more broadly? Oh, also thank you for the resub, Alex Ryder. Thank you. Being part of the story, Fantastic Four, the Avengers, Silver Surfer, they're all very integral, important parts to Marvel as a whole. So you have to be able to like, like and respect and at least read some of their comics to- I feel like you could use that logic if you're a DC fan too. Like you gotta respect it, but even if I'm not a fan of it. Better know? understand the whole story arc in the Marvel universe. I am at college. Because of COVID, they told us we couldn't bring a lot of stuff with me. Uh, so one of this, which is uh, the thing that I had to get down from my bed. The other thing that I have is this model encyclopedia and it has a uh, note from Stanley and I got this right after like he passed away. I have a few encyclopedias at home. I grew up in India, so I couldn't buy comics because there were no comic book stores. So when my mom would travel for work, 
work, she would bring back comics for me, and that was the first one was like Spider Man, so I have a encyclopedia of that. Do you That's cute. read the comics too, or just because of not being able to get access to it? She's like, are you a true fan, or <laughs> like, so what? But mostly stick to MCU. Oh. Now, I don't know if, if you guys have like the Marvel like Unlimited app or whatever, which has like, so I have the subscription for that. When the movies and stuff started coming out, I would always read the comics Spider that had to do with those, and then especially during like Infinity Stones and all that came into play, or as they call Infinity Gems in the, in the comics, like I, I started like reading all of this, so I read all of the Infinity Gems. She knows that. If I die, that was for if I call gems in the comics, that's a good sign. I would have very confidently voted for a Marin this round, I think, until just kind of hearing her personal story. I don't want to vote someone off who just doesn't have the ability to have as much stuff as other people because, like, not everybody can, like, nobody can. Yeah, that's, crap. yeah. I'm yeah. definitely most suspicious of Marin. Now, I understand I'm in the same situation and want to have items that um, are very easily, like, borrowed. Bobby. A little bit suspicious, only liking X-Men. I'm most suspicious of Marin. I am gonna vote off Michael. Sorry, Michael. I'm going Marin. Uh... And the person eliminated in this round, in round two, is Marin. Ah, uh, I knew it. I feel bad. Oh my gosh, I'm alive. Michael looks stoked. Michael looks stoked. It's Michael. Oh, you look stoked, man. <laughs> In Spoilers. Game, whenever Cap gets that hammer, everybody went nuts. I love this guy. He's like, he's kind of one note. He's like, I'm a fan of Captain America and Iron Man, and that's it. <laughs> whenever Cap gets that hammer. I'm going to tell you why I didn't pick that. You can't not feel this. I am a nip. Tony goes, and I. Okay, we've seen Avengers Endgame. Like, I don't know why you're. <laughs> why does everybody feel they need to quote? Am Iron Man. Oh, that's okay. So he was just like wanted to show off the. He just feels like a cosplayer now. He has the Infinity Gauntlet. He had to bring it out. Just another chance to flex what he has. I tear up just thinking about it. Seriously. I... <laughs> Come on, you can't not love that scene. So I'm gonna tell you why I picked the Mjolnir scene, Jared, <laughs> and everybody else. Cap just grabs it and wields it. And here's Thor. Are, are we picking our favorite scene in specifically Avengers Endgame? Cause that doesn't feel like it's gonna tell you anything. And he's like, yeah. Cause he's always known that, you know, Cap could do it. Or maybe something changed between, you know, then and then. I'm born and raised in the Bronx, New York. And uh, Stan Lee is also born in the Bronx, New York. He went to high school in the Bronx. The Black Panther is also one of my favorite heroes. Rest in peace Chadwick and rest in peace Stan Lee. At the end of Infinity War, when everyone just reunited, and everyone had their last stand. You come out. I really don't want Michael to be the mole. I cuz I feel like he's an easy pick out just superficially. And so I'm hoping I'm hoping that uh yeah. With the Wakanda X, the Bronx. This is where this originated from. The Bronx, New York. We are the X. We rep the X. Wakanda forever. I don't know. I think it's just a celebration. He's of also got like Joey fan. Badass and Travis just, Scott you know, vinyls back. I don't know, a hero. One of the ones that I always come back to personally is the moment in Civil War when Tony goes to talk to Peter and they have that conversation without actually having to say, with great power comes great responsibility. It's when you can do the things I do but you don't, and then the bad things happen. They happen because of you. There's this linked guilt between the two of them. Tony's feeling a lot of guilt in that movie. Every time I hear it, it makes me it makes me tear up. Yeah. He's just some Fuck high Travis, school kid yeah. trying to do his best and trying to do the best for his community. So I'm gonna go outside of the MCU, and I'm going with Logan, because if you're an X-Men fan, if you're a Wolverine fan, you wanted to see Logan go berserk, or as close as berserker as he could. We couldn't get in a PG-13 movie. We needed a rated R movie. I just wish, I just wish she did some stuff outside of like literally the X-Men, you know? Just giving his all to get those kids safe. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, when they put the cross and they made it an X, like I cried like a little in that movie like i cried so hard she's getting emotional right right in that Seeing moment him just one last i, time I believe give it his all before that she is the fan of the stuff that she says she is but it was such a cathartic thing for a fan i, I just wish she like i i like just don't know what the 
definition of Marvel fan is to the game. Them out because everybody here gave really good answers, but Bobby's openly admitted to not really liking other things in the Marvel franchise. It seems like Bobby is just an X-Men fan. And I know obviously the X-Men are Marvel. For all we know, there could be a lot more DC stuff that she's just hiding that, you know, obviously we would have no idea of knowing. So I'm gonna lock in my vote. I'm just gonna vote Bobby. She's got a storm tattoo. I'm voting for somebody who has a storm tattoo. I'm definitely suspicious of Michael. My gut, I gotta go with my gut. I honestly don't know. Bobby, I can't vote. Oh, she feels, I feel like she's faking. I feel like it's her now. Before, because I really don't think it's her, I'm gonna go with the gut and say Michael again. It's, it's the only thing I know to do. And the, <laughs> the only thing I know how to do is say Michael. Person eliminated this round is Michael. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's kind of elitist to go for Bobby if she's not interested in mainstream Marvel stuff. No, I just I, I agree with the logic of the people here where they're saying like it seems like the stuff that she cares about she cares so deeply about. One could imagine that she's secretly a big DC fan because she's like seems like she's got her deep cuts. And I don't know anybody who's like deep cut on just one comic or one one series. Maybe. I mean uh I'm slightly concerned that it's Bobby because an X-Men super fan is not necessarily a Marvel Superman. So I'm like, uh, that's, I mean, I agree with him, man. Uh, I'm so sorry. I voted for you. I honestly think that we didn't need to eliminate Michael. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Bye. If everyone feels confident that you already caught them all, you can end the game now. If the majority has doubt, the game will continue. <laughs> I think we caught the mole. I think we got him. I don't want to continue the game. It's unanimous. <laughs> That's majority. We're going to end the game right here. I swear, if it was Bobby and an X-Men fan doesn't count as a Marvel fan. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at too. Move my mind. If the color that shows up is green, you all win. This is so no game. If it's red, the mole is still in the game and you lost in three, Two, one. Oh. I, wa I wonder who, like, who it was. I hope it wasn't Michael. years like, Marvel knowledge finally pays off, literally. <laughs> Excelsior, guys. Excelsior. <laughs> That's cute. The game is over and the Marvel fans have Was it Marin? That means that or was it Eric, the obvious one? Cash prize like, we'll Eric is the most obvious one, so I'm hoping it's not him. Going to be gifting them because you could just glance at the screenshot and just assume it's Eric. And the akin to experience where you'll get to pick your favorite basics from our new interactive apparel brand. I would like the mold to please reveal yourself in three, two, one. It was me, man. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh, that's actually so sick. Wait, I love that she did that. I love that she did that. That's actually so sick. <laughs> That's so awesome. Two, one. It was me, baby. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you just went out and bought that stuff. It was too fresh. I was a fan like of the of the comics like, at a young age. I didn't lie about like anything, more more or less, but they just not for me and I felt like I connected with the DC characters a lot more. Like the Flash is my favorite DC character. But you guys are so cool and I just wanted to like talk to you guys more. The entire time I was That's so sweet. I love I like, this. I just wanna stay in this game not because I, I don't wanna win. I don't care about that. I just wanna talk to these guys more. We should all yeah, make a little Discord. Continue talking. I really like you guys. And I love this. I this is so wholesome. Would time. you guys have me? Why is this the most wholesome of these? Well, if would you have me? Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you can help, I guess. No. <laughs> Aw. Um, okay. I do have to leave soon. Um, maybe we can end on a to all fifth grade dude i kind of want to watch to all fifth graders think the same yo is that that's not gordon is it i don't think through my crushes like that i'm not like i love him so much i'm like okay i like him yeah but that's the thing you can gordon like them as a friend not oh <laughs> you 
Using bad words is okay. Three, two, one. Yo, I'm gonna do the odd one out, like who's a Gordon super fan? And it's gonna be me, I'm gonna roll up. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I got myself a Gordon tattoo. Go. Rochelle does things, thank you for the sub. Risa. You shouldn't swear, that's a common fact. But then again, you have to let your anger out some way, so that's why only somewhat disagree. Using, well, words can, they have meaning, and when you use them, it means something. Oh, Rochelle. So when you use a bad word, it means like you're angry and you're not happy. But when you need to use them, you can just scream them in your pillow, not yell them out at someone. And I don't think that you should just scream into your pillow. That's just going to bottle up your emotions, and that's just going to get worse and worse. It's just going to eventually burst, and you're going to say even more bad words than you should. Yeah. What if you just get a stress ball? Dude, Gordon knows what's up. Hey, Rochelle. <laughs> yeah, but that's for a specific, okay. like, physical... Um, yeah, therapy. well, you said that if somebody's, like, really angry, so what if you just get a stress ball? But it depends... <laughs> Yo! Yo, he's like, just stop being angry. <laughs> Person, in my opinion, squishing something isn't gonna make me any happier. Like, let's say, like, you have like a best friend, you know, and then like you, I don't know, like you say like a swear word to them, then maybe they'll just like not want to hang out with you because you like cuss and all. Um, sorry if. Dude, what a narc. Dude, we. Oh, is it? It's Preston. We are not Christian, but it's against the Bible. You shouldn't swear. Because okay, Preston. <laughs> it can also hurt a lot of people's feelings if you swear directly at. Dude, dude, oh no, dude, Preston, Preston is gonna have to live with this video for a long time. But yeah, you shouldn't do it. I'm Christian, <laughs> so I, I guess I'll just put in disagree. G Gordon's like, I actually stand by my beliefs, but I'll placate you. I have a crush on someone. Three, two, one, go. Uh, oh. Dude, Gordon said girls are icky. He straight up, he was like, yeah, these boys were like, nah. But homeboy over here was like, look, if I find a good Christian girl. Okay. Ooh, we're going to find out some romantic love in today's. Oh yeah, I had a crush. I had a crush very early on. Not love someone when you're this like it's like this age. It, it Dude, he is giving strong youth pastor vibes. Like you should you should not love someone when you're this age. It's like more of a mature thing. Like you you should just like like people as friends. He he confessed to his parents that he had a crush, and they gave him this speech, and now he's repeating it back. Friends. You shouldn't like love people like you want to marry them and stuff like like that that's like high school college things yeah but. at this age we just like have crush we don't like love them to where we're marrying them and we're gonna have kids and yeah. i don't think through my crush is like that i'm not like yeah also you know like these these girls are like yeah it, it ain't that serious guys I love him six. so much. <laughs> like I'm like I'm like okay, I like him. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the thing. You can like them as a friend. Gordon's about to be like it's a slippery slope. Not oh. But <laughs> but at the same time <laughs> It's not like your choice. He, you can't like uh, make yourself like force like not like And <laughs> Preston's like my pastor disagrees. <laughs> Them or have a crush on them. Yeah, but that's it's a way of the heart, though. So, yeah, it's okay liking someone. It's just Dude, this is therapy now for Preston. This like shouldn't be too excited about this. You're gonna find someone else. What did Juan say? Yeah, or it's like not. Yeah. It's not like you're. But he is also the one who said the thing about bad words. So you know he was like. <laughs> he's got some like, good, idea uh, make good ideas. Good ideas here, like, though. Force like not like him or have a crush on him. Yeah, but that's it's a way of the heart, though. So, yeah, the way of the heart. It's okay liking someone. It's just like shouldn't be too excited about this. You're gonna find someone else that you're gonna like, so don't keep your hopes up. Dude, this is good advice. Kids should be allowed to have cell phones. Three, two. Uh, okay. My guess is everyone's gonna strongly agree, and then Preston is gonna 
I not strongly disagree, but maybe the thing next to strongly disagree. And he's going to explain how cell phones are eroding young kids' minds. And we're too young to have cell phones. That's my, that's my guess. One, go. Oh, someone, someone had to do it. I Originally, I wasn't going to say Preston. I was going to say someone, but... I strongly agree because what um, if... Let's disagree. Let's disagree. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh. Hey, bro. What if you got lost and your parents said that you couldn't have a cell phone? I wouldn't be able to call anybody because I wouldn't have a cell phone. I have a phone and I use it for certain reasons, like to FaceTime my friends and like FaceTime my family and text. And then Dude, also, wait, can we shout out, like, I would be so embarrassed... And this is just a reminder to all of us that, like, nothing, this stuff doesn't matter. But I would be like, I need to leave. I need to go away. I, I stood on the wrong side of the thing, and now I have to walk back and give my answer. No, shout out, shout out to this young man for just, like, rolling, rolling with it. Let's disagree. Let's disagree. Oh, sorry. It's okay, bro. What if... Aw, and that was so great. It's okay, bro. If you got lost and... Your parents said that you couldn't have a cell phone. I wouldn't be able to call anybody because I wouldn't have a cell phone. I have a phone and I use it for certain reasons, like to FaceTime my friends and like FaceTime my family and text. And then like I kind of don't really think we should have one is because we usually want to hang out with our friends, not stay on really devices all day. That's like such a... It's like a young person saying it, but it's coming from an old person. You know what I mean? Like, I can just, I just feel, kids these days, that's like, I can just feel it. Children just, they could break the cell phones and drop it. It's, it depends on what age. So that's why I believe it should be teenagers can have cell phones because they actually understand the world. Dude, this is like kid government. <laughs> Dude, this is so funny. Like, to be, to be, uh, what, 11 in like fifth grade? No, 10. To be like, uh, to be like ten years old, and then and then just be like, mm, mm, as a ten year old, I do not think that I am old enough for a cell phone. However, in three years' time, when I become a teenager, that will be the time that I can have a cell phone. How to not break phone? But like some like I got my first cell phone in middle school when I was like twelve or so. It was prepaid. It was a prepaid. Uh, Vari Virgin Mobile phone. Yeah. Um, kids do have responsibility. Didn't do anything. Responsibility too from their parents, but also because children could just access a bunch of. <laughs> Jarvis, you're making him sound like Ben Shapiro. <laughs> really inappropriate things, and you can go into like a like dark web or something on accident. And then what does Swan know about the dark web? <laughs> Who told him about the dark web? Do kids talk about the dark web like the boogeyman? <laughs> and like you could accidentally give your address like while playing like a game you could like accidentally like be like leaking it in social medias and all parents tech dude who is this kid technology these days you can put child lock on your phone uh that's a thing on youtube you can put child <laughs> dude gordon is like larry david <laughs> what is these days you can what is this? This is the body language of 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 an old man. On your phone, uh, that's a thing on YouTube. You can put. Hey man, was uh, uh yeah, it child like it doesn't do anything. Just wait till you're thirteen. Child lock. I'm pretty sure they can't like access certain things. If you post something wrong on accident, it stays there forever. Even though you delete it, it's still up there. People can see that, and then they can get into stuff that you don't want them to see. I understand what racism is. Whoa. I don't... Okay. Interesting. Whoa. Three, two, one, go. Dude, of course this black kid is, like, not fully on strongly This is agree. a saying I, I feel like I've heard many people say. Oh, he's, somebody was like, hey, get, get over here. Um, it doesn't um, matter what's on the outside that counts. It's what's on the inside that counts. Yeah. Like, what does, like, the skin, like, have to, like, affect you by? Back in the 40s and 50s, black people and Hispanic people were being, like, harassed by white people. No offense. And Let's go. Like, they used to get water hosed 
I know that black people didn't like that because what if the white people were black people and, and they were being treated like that? Like, they don't know what it feels like. They just think that they have all the power. They can just do whatever they wanted because we were helpless. People... Dude, I, I feel like I want to give him snaps or something. People are stereotyped over the color of the skin, which doesn't make any sense because everyone's mean at some point, everyone's upset at some point, everyone's nice at some point. But I just don't get why people are stereotyped by their skin. We're all the same. We're all human beings. If, if we're from different places, it's like if it's a learned, there's a lot of sun, you have more melanin in your skin. If it's like more cool, barely any sun, you have less melanin. We have to respect each other with the same ways you want to be respected. And people get killed just by... Dude, honestly, all these people are doing better than the 17-year-old white girl from Black White who put on blackface for the show. Protesting, and then it just makes me so sad. Like, they're just trying to get their own right. It's a good way to put it. I'm afraid of... Dude, <laughs> somebody had a bad answer and they cut it. <laughs> Gordon was like, honestly, I don't see it. <laughs> and then they were like, all right, all right. We're going to cut this out so that you don't ruin your life later. Climate change. Three... Two, one, go. I'm right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Two, one. This is I'm afraid of client climate go. change. Okay. Uh oh, Preston. I'm Why am I not fucking surprised? Sorry. Right here. I'm going to be here. Okay, fine. Okay, so there's no point of being afraid of climate change. Like you can be like concerned about it like about the animals that live in like different climates like <laughs> i don't know okay places but places yeah there's no point of you to be afraid because you're used to like warm weather and like a little oh. cool weather but you can be concerned about it. oh i thought he was going to go like there's no use in being afraid of climate change because what we need to do is we need to act. The ozone layer is depleting. The animals are dying. And, and, and that's where I thought he was going to go. Um, the oceans, the, the sea levels are rising. But then he, he didn't. He's like, literally like, what are, you, <laughs> what are you so afraid of the climate changing for? Sometimes it's hot. Sometimes it's cold. Just put on a jacket. It's actually our fault. We're making more pollution and pollution and pollution. Yeah, exactly. It's making so the air. That's why you're just not concerned about it? That's why people... So <laughs> Preston was like, literally the climate changing, that just happens every season. <laughs> like, get over it, everybody. Purging to electric cars because I'm... gasoline is part of it. But, but people are now, like, changing to electricity, but still electricity is made with gas. And... I don't know what it's called, but there's like over the planet, there's like a big p protection for the, from the sun rays, not oh, so like extreme on us and burn ourselves like to death. So like Preston knows some stuff, but he's like still misguided. Death, But we're destroying that and that's why we're endangering ourselves too. I just remembered, but... Yeah, they're fifth grade. They're in fifth grade. This is all for fun. This is all for fun. They're very uh, smart kids. Like, remember, like, when we had to, like, evacuate, like, from, like, some of our homes? Like, how it was, like, showing, like, a couple weeks ago? Because, like, the fires that was going on. Wildfire. Climate and change. Maybe we should... <laughs> Dude, I love Juan. Be scared. I'm not saying... <laughs> Anastasia said Preston has God. That you should have to. Well, that's just being concerned. There's no... There's, like, oh. no point of being afraid. Like... Dude, dude, dude is doing some real, like, well, actually, uh, uh, pedantic, like, pedan like, he's being very pedantic about this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. There's, like, no point of because being Because you are gonna die. That's the thing. <laughs> Not for sure, but you... Gordon's like, dude, Might. what... It's a yeah. Yeah, There's a low chance you are. You won't you guarantee are. die, but you will guarantee have third degree burns, be drowned to the point where you become a fish and <laughs> Gordon I, I'm worried for Gordon <laughs> they keep they keep cutting him off right before he says something truly problematic I miss going to school <laughs> in person three <laughs> yeah like unchain Gordon two, let his let his voice be heard one go. Oh my gosh, I'm so... I keep Aww. 
I strongly. Dude, Gordon's like, I'm just, I feel better. I feel better from the, from the comfort of my, my HyperX gaming chair. I agree on going to school because you can like get more help from your teachers and you get to see your friends again. In my opinion, there's just no reason to have to want to do school at, in person and that's just way less safety with this whole COVID-19 going on. But then as Dude, he's, he is a senior citizen child. <laughs> for distractions. With this whole uh, COVID-19 going on. You could just turn on safety lock or something. Or get grounded. There's not only distractions on your phone and your computer, like, that you can just put lock on. You can also get distracted, like, if you're in your room. Because I'm sure your parents will be doing something in the other rooms. But I also, like, feel like school is great because your teacher can give you, like, one-on-one -on -one time and go to your desk and help you with a certain problem. I wonder if anyone's going to discuss, like, so, like, I, I wonder if kids, like, think about the fact that, like, socialization is, like, you don't, like, like, th there's got to be a balance, right? Because, like, being completely isolated is not good. And you also... It's not good to, for like, me. I'm going crazy, friends. dude. A bunch of my friends I know have, um, um, do online and are, like, failing their classes. And the exact same thing happened to me, except, like, I was doing it, like, online. And then I, I had, like, straight, like, Fs. But then, like, I, like, went to, like, the school school and then changed all my grades to A's and B's. Adults are always right. Three... Two, one. Dude, okay, wait, what do we think? Do we think all, all strong disagree? I feel like there's gonna be somebody who's like a little bit like pick me and they're gonna be like, well, you know, more or less, they're older, they're wiser. Yeah, like Preston's gonna go to agree. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, Preston. No. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, Preston did it. Oh. I don't completely disagree. I'm sure that every adult isn't always right because women are always right. What? <laughs> what? Wait, Gordon. <laughs> did I did I <laughs> Gordon is for sure a was born in 1940 and uh and or no, like it was born in 1900 and is inhabiting a child's body. <laughs> I'm sure that if Let me turn on the uh, the actual captions. Every adult isn't always right because women are always right, but you can't have some kind of telekinetic mind power that lets you be right 100% of the time. There, he's like he's like almost has a point. You know what I mean? Sometimes my teacher gets things wrong. And I, sometimes the students have to correct my teacher. My and sometimes the fake news media. Grandma <laughs> no. has a daycare and one of her helpers that used to work for her, she didn't go to school, so she kind of didn't know anything. No oh, <laughs> William, no! No one's ever, like, oh, no. right all the time time yeah. like no matter if you're an adult or a kid uh, I feel like parents just say they're always right because they like want you to do something else instead of playing video games all day they want you to go outside so like well, I feel like that's good to kind go of outside and run out your energy but making friends is hard three two Expected one this. go dude extrovert alert Juan was like Dude, I got straight Fs because I couldn't hang out with my friends. I'm really talk. Dude, Gordon is such an enigma. Talkative, so I will just like go up to someone and I'll be like, hey, what's your name? And then we'll start a full-blown conversation and then we'll swap. Oh, oh, I mixed it up. Now I'm like William. So making friends is hard. So you disagree. These people are all extroverts. Damn. Yo, I'm right here. I'm over here, dude. This is me. Also, acting makes it a lot easier to make friends like this. Like, when you're working on set with someone, you're... Oh, kid actor. Literally just, like, with so many other kids that you can make friends with. So, I feel like it's easy. Whenever I'm doing, like, my magic to, like, like someone, I did make, like, quite a lot of friends. Whenever I'm doing my magic... Hold on, dude. <laughs> Wait. Whenever I'm doing like my magic to like 
like someone. I did make like quite a lot of friends and all. Um, it was easier because I was talking and I wasn't like talking about like other stuff, but I was talking about like what I loved and what I was doing. Juan, I'm gonna have to disagree with you because you said that you did a magic trick and now people want to be your friend, right? What if you are a regular kid? Some what if you don't have magical powers? We can't, we can't sell this this glorious picture of friendship. That's like if you can do magic tricks, it's just so easy to make friends. What if you're 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 a muggle? What if you're a muggle, Juan? People just want to be friends with you because you're either famous or you're rich. I know, but I wasn't rich or famous. <laughs> Yo, dude, why is William so based? Friend with you because what if you are a regular kid? Some people just want to be friends with you because you're either famous or you're rich. I know, but I wasn't rich or famous. You're really cool. So, like, what if you were just like. Dude, I love how deadpan he is. He's like, yeah, you're not rich or famous, but you're extremely cool. You said you can do magic. A basic kid. What if you're normal? What if you're a basic kid? Do you think they would still be friends with you? Well, most likely, because some of it was like out on like the outside. It was what's on the inside that counted right there at that time. I just be myself. And I just see if, if they want to be friends with me or not because it all it just depends on what they think of me. Sometimes I have to act to get friends because What <laughs> Dude Preston, what was that move? Sometimes I have to act think of me. <laughs> sometimes I have to act to get friends because sometimes Dude <laughs> he's already mansplaining. I, I hear their conversations and they're saying that they like don't like to be friends with my <laughs> uh, uh, Snicket or K Snicket said I'm scared of it for Preston type of personality I kind of feel like I'm lying because it's, it's, not, it's not like truly me and I just I prefer getting friends like the way I actually am I don't want to grow up. Ooh. Trick <laughs> this is probably gonna trigger me, I'm sure. Three, two. No, he was looking back because he was cause she mentioned acting and, and like and, but I just thought it was really funny that he was <laughs> that he did that. One go. Dude, Preston is ready to be an adult. Oh, that's the audience prediction. That's gonna be fifty fifty. Interesting. I honestly want to grow up because it's like part of life and you just get to experience different things um, depending on your age. You know, Preston's like, I feel like he's got all the tools, you know, like he's a little misguided here and there, but I feel like he's, I feel like he's going to be fine. I feel like he's going to be fine. I want to be like a kid, but like staying in kid forever is like being in school for a long time. Emma, Emma's like, I feel like Emma's had fairly good answers and has been fairly understated during this video. Shout out to Emma. And like, re, like redoing your grades and it's like not fun. And you, if you, when you grow up, you can have a job and do what you love. I mean, yeah. technically, as long as you're good at school, if you just keep repeating the same classes, <laughs> it's not, the worst it's thing like, that can happen is just you it's get like you're, bored. It's like you're reviewing the same thing you learned last year, and like it's over, you're, and then mm -hmm. you get bored of it. That's why you want to move on to something new. I strongly agree on not growing up because I won't have to pay any bills. Dude, William is based, man. Oh. <laughs> Once you grow up, you learn a lot more so you can get a job. Dude, he's, it's, 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 it's <laughs> dude he is so real. Taxes. I don't really want to grow I up like, because at the same time, you do get older and older. Life does go on and you really won't have a childhood again. And change is good and change can be bad, but you don't know till you do it. Awesome. I mean, it, it kind of felt like he had a far more down the middle answer than st strong agree, but. Do all virgins think the same? We gotta put that in the watch later. Let's put that in the watch later. We can't watch this now, cause I gotta go. But, uh...
thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. We had a good time. A great time, even. Um, I didn't really <clears throat> film a gold video, but we did have fun. And I want to do this more. I want to stream more. So I'm just trying to build the habit, you know. Um, so I hope everybody had a good old time. When's the next stream? That's a good question. Um, what's today? Let me look at my calendar. Mm, I'll probably stream this weekend. This weekend for sure. Next week, there's probably going to be a stream with a special guest, but it's going to be a busy week, so I can't say for sure when. Um, but <clears throat> thanks, everybody, for joining. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you to the fake Milo for subbing. Um, and yeah. All right, everybody. Uh, let's see who I, let's see if I can raid somebody. Uh, let's raid Flutton. Flutton plays old school RuneScape. She's great. And uh, <clears throat> have a great eve or have a great day or whatever time it is for you. Catch you later.